Let me ask. Let me, hold on. You talking about? Let me ask the people, <laughs> ladies. What do you think about niggas who sit like this? Yeah. <laughs> you see how I'm sitting? And me swinging the Mario. This is, this hey, is man. Hey, this is man. No, that you nigga, came late, Mario. You came late. Chad over there sitting like this, just swinging his foot. <laughs> <laughs> no. hey, you I don't need a nigga doing me. Do yourself, cause that's what the people wanna see. Mm. Now if you out here doing me, well hell, who gonna do you? Mm. And now you fucking up how I do me, you stupid dude. Mm. I seen a nigga doing my joke and left the part off. Oh, new shit. A nigga bomb came off stage. You know, a nigga ain't say nothing, cause like, shit, that's a part of the game. Mm. I reached, you know, just a little doubt. Oh man, I ain't worried about that shit. I didn't ask you. I didn't... <laughs> I didn't ask you anything, brother. I didn't. I didn't ask you yeah. how you felt about shit. I, I just reached my hand out for depth, like. Right. I see a leg crossing. Then we got pink fucking do rags. Then you got feet dangling. It's a domino effect. You got feet dangling. Yeah. I, it, yeah. 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 He, he's on two. I points. heard Craig tell a bitch that he was a red bone. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like everything that they thought we was doing. We should turn it up on the ass. Cause that's why everybody making fun, fun of us. Black face and shit. Nigga, we ought to really oh, give them some oh, shit to. We to ought to really, really do like, but we should do it with so much class. class. We should just be barbecuing 24 hours of all that stereotypical shit right. they think we gonna be doing. Just nigga just riding around all hours Music of the night. Music loud. Loud. Chilling. Two, three in the morning, just shit. Played his part, and now he fucked it off. And then I'm like, damn, how you gonna do half of the joke? You shoulda did the whole thing, nigga. You cheating these folks. If you gonna take my shit, take the whole damn thing. Don't take the part that you like, cause that's so goddamn lame. And that's for you, boy. I know you watching the show. Nice. Like, the titties of life. Them titties is nice. Uh, the titties of life. We don't never make no song about the little boobies. But they like them little orange shit. I call them some cuties. And if she seen them, tell me I just grab on them too. Because the little titties need love, and that's what I do. I just be scooping them and grabbing them and pinching them and twisting them and kissing them and licking them and doing stupid shit with them. Damn, that ain't right. But man, them titties sitting so right. It's like the titties that gave me life. Do -do -do. <laughs> Hey man, turn this shit off, bro. Turn this shit off. Welcome back to the 85 South Shore. You already know what we doing, man. We in here being creative, magnificent, extravagant, extraordinary, magnificent gentlemen. You know what I'm saying? We out here just respecting women. Gotta do that. Being faithful, not cheating, because that's just something that black men don't do. You know, to get our point across. Ever, you know, probably never will. Los, never will. Los, never. what you said? Why? Why? Why would? Why do we have our phones locked? Man, just to protect our grandma recipes <laughs> and pictures of the family. The gravy, the, the gravy, gravy recipe. You can't let this right. shit. Right. It's because our main lady nudes in there, and we really don't want nobody getting <laughs> access to that. I yeah. mean, do you really want people seeing the type of shit that me and you be talking about, me lady? Right. No, I'm doing this to protect our livelihood. Because you know she going to act a goddamn fool if somebody looked house. that goddamn python out. If the python get out, she going to delete her whole Instagram. Cause she gonna titties gonna, are live. That's exactly what I was getting at. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, man. We got well, Mario yeah. Torrey in the house tonight. what it is, baby. We got Nav Green in the house tonight. Happy 2019. How y'all doing, oh, man? Oh, man, alive. Huh? We ain't caught up in a minute, bro. <laughs> we ain't caught up in a minute, but guess what, man? We see each other doing our thing. I see you doing your motherfucking thing, 85 South. See my black brothers doing something fucking positive and rocking and making money. Yeah. Nigga, I'm happy. Yeah. This We try to keep the show real positive because it's a, <coughs> it's a lot of negativity that goes into <coughs> being a black man. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? You better and say like it. I say on this show all the time, don't just be a nigga. No. Be a better one. Ne mm. Man. Be a polished nigga. Mm. Come on, bro. Come Don't on. Don't even try to steal that. The hoodies is already <coughs> being made. <I>, Motherfucker <coughs> tried to sell me a hoodie or some shit. I said, that's so goddamn disrespectful. What is that? Quit touching No, you they don't want me like, bro, baby bird. Low, fuck with me on me. I ain't made it yet, but I got a few dollars. I'm like, oh, bitch, wow. 
If you don't goddamn delete my shit <laughs> off your shirt, nigga done did a whole comedy sketch to my joke. Nigga, do your own jokes. <laughs> I don't need no goddamn help with this shit. You thought you was putting me in the game by doing some. <laughs> nigga, by stop. Putting your, that's hey, nigga shit. That nigga doing sketches I, like a motherfucker. Oh, I don't know joke. Nigga, did, sit your goddamn ass that's down some nigga shit. Did he CC you? CC. The nigga tagged me in the shit. <laughs> I don't like, need, hey bro, I don't need no goddamn help. Hashtag quit shit. touching yeah, shit. I'm just trying to expose, get you I'm some exposure. I'm just not that nigga who I'm trying to get you some more followers. all that old extra ass shit, bro. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> Y'all niggas sit around and just performing other motherfuckers' material. That's terrible. That's super extra. With my voice, you yeah, just oh, acting it out. Oh, you extra extra. So he do <laughs> so, so my me telling the joke is playing. Uh huh. But he just <laughs> acting it out. So like they do on the laugh tracks. That's yeah, all you like, I didn't ask you to do this. I don't know you. So low, he's he middle man and your shit from getting no, nah, cause these fuck. I posted the young nigga one time. Uh -huh. I was like, oh, he fuck with me. That's yeah, cool. that's cool. Let me post the shit. But now that I got a million followers, he wanna he. Did. I think everybody got them trying to come up off me. Fuck yeah. yo, I ain't posting shit for you. No, no. 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 bitches who ain't I ain't even no like my shit. This way, you think you wanna do some promo? Bitch, no. That beard shit don't work. <laughs> trying to get me to post some beard pills. This niggas who got beards don't take no goddamn pills. Yeah, I got Long. 62 beards. I ain't oh. goddamn took not a damn pill to grow hey. a beard. If you gotta take a pill I to got, grow a beard, I got you gonna have a beard. I got motherfuckers sitting me kind of all kind of oils, bro. Then you gonna have to pay, take a pill for they your dick because you, you grew your beard now your dick don't work. They finna have you selling flat tummy tea and all that shit on your page. <laughs> yeah. they, they gonna try to promo you out. Man, I'm <laughs> telling you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Herbal life, all that shit. I had a bitch ask me, "You mind posting my weave page? Weave, mm. weave. You think bitches come to my page? You talking about the shit to go down the hair when it come a weave? <laughs> I know, ma'am. I would what not. What you say, bro? About what? You high? <laughs> no, I'm not high. What you say? That's how I, I said it. it. Whatever I said, I all said right. it. <laughs> I didn't want you to think I ain't. I know you said something. No. Yeah. No, nah, but I mean, that shit was cold though. How Soldier Boy came out of nowhere and just was like, nigga, I had the greatest comeback in 2018. Then he turned that bitch into the greatest comeback of 2018. Shout out to Big Soldier, boy. Hey, Draco. Man. Big Draco. Big, big, big Draco. Big, I call him Big Soldier. Then sometimes it be Big Draco. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I call him Draco. Because I feel I like the I nigga need all this respect. Man, the man said he put a lot of facts out there now. The he man did. dropped some facts. He did. Now the facts are there. He did. History is and it was hilarious. History, too. man, it was entertaining. I didn't know that little nigga was that funny. Right, that, that she was entertaining. But then again, I kind of did because he always had some funny ass little songs. Because he's a young cat, like yeah, young when, when you were young and you hot like that. That's why he kept jumping. Up. Any young nigga always want to show you in the. Let me show you something. Look, look at this. Oh yeah. Huh? Look at that right there. What they say? But and the, start. With, that's nigga, all young niggas want to do. When that nigga got the argument on Instagram with that other oh, nigga, man, and what? took his coat off. <laughs> Nigga. And said, pull up, nigga. What? Bro, am I the only one, nigga, when they be pulling the guns out, dude? I be like, man, I just hope the nigga shoot himself on the goddamn line. Mm. Like, what is you doing that dumb shit for? But why does it go? Dumb as fuck? Why does it go that far, though? Nigga fuck around and shoot the phone, and the phone still be recording. <laughs> yeah. But oh, bitch ass nigga. Pow! Oh, shit. God damn. Live over, live over. But it ain't, though. <laughs> It ain't. You get the, it, it's stuck on. Yeah, it won't go off. It's Paul. Now you gotta hear all this stupid ass shit he gonna do. Man, I done fucked man, around. Man, that guy. Now you down. get the, he think the shit off, but you do, him. Do he get man, a tear drop? Man, 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 he ain't get got a no money getting on another goddamn phone. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> that my third Lose, goddamn do one. Did we drop? If you shoot the phone, yeah, nah, he got an iPhone, an iPhone charger. drop, yeah, yeah. The, charger. Charger. The, little, the little block piece. He get an Apple on the eye. He get the little block piece. <laughs> and then y'all gonna make Apple Jack. Man, they kill phone. <laughs> now he don't hit. Got a hit song, Young Apple Jack. <laughs> Hey man, these motherfuckers, these nigga young is. rapper niggas is going crazy. I just saw some shit today. To 21 say. free, man. 21 free. 21 free. I'm glad you and threw the good news out because I was about to say some crazy yeah, shit. Yeah, I saw it go ahead. I saw it. Ah, 21 out. But, man. <laughs> but you know what? That ice shit was dumb as fuck. They talking about these racist that nigga because he seemed like he was fuck. What? What? I said, what the Hold fuck? Hold up, what the fuck? It was you some false. Say, you didn't tell him? No, it was something that, You said, uh, man, they said they arrested his, that nigga. Because his persona was Man, that's bullshit. <laughs> yeah, you know, his persona was false. I said, his what? I said, how the fuck he ain't hey, who he is, nigga? Oh, that that's dumb. some hating ass shit. That bro. was some hating ass how shit. How the police gonna say, man, this nigga ain't who he said he is? He ain't who he is. That's what? some bullshit, bro. 
Cause you, it, it ain't a nigga on earth that you can convince that that nigga ain't who the fuck he said he was. I don't give a fuck where he came from. That nigga did all that shit he ever said he did. Man, he is. 21 he, he, he's that level to you die in my One of the coldest eyes. niggas ever come out of Atlanta, nigga. That nigga, he's, he been here since he was seven. If we claim you, you got nigga, your first you piece of pussy nigga, in Georgia. I, nigga, if you make your babies That's in facts. Georgia. Wherever yeah. you get your first piece of pussy That's at, that where you from. If nigga. you make your kids in that motherfucker. Right here. Nigga, come right on, here. Man. Right come on. Come on, bro. Man, I know, I know. When he when he left the UK, they were still selling Belgian waffles. Nigga. Man, he don't even remember that shit. <laughs> nigga, he ain't got no pictures. I, yeah. I, I, bet it's, I bet it's a nigga in UK like, see, he just don't forgot about us. Hey man, y'all stop nigga talking bro. about this shit for Offset get mad. Well, he gonna get mad. Nigga, oh, he don't like Chris, nobody's oh. really saying shit. But, hey, and so we, what about and Chris we Brown? Excited about and what? And we excited the that nigga, the nigga him, and, him and Chris Brown got into it. You didn't see that Mario? <coughs> man, they, I ain't they, they, they they turn my phone argue, on the day. Don't, don't, don't put that shit on the internet, perpetuating bullshit. What they talking they about? They got to argue. This, you know how niggas why argue. Niggas are, why our black entertainer niggas no, always This is what I'm not liking. Arguing. As a nigga, I understand. Sometimes you argue with a nigga, and it might seem like y'all going to do that. Get into the fist of cuffs, but that's but it don't go that far. But it shouldn't spill over to the Instagram. You can't do that on. That's the only way you can release it. And now. plus, in this position, they they got too many people watching. Right. They might have got them say, "Hey man, I ain't appreciate that whole ass shit you said." Well, fuck you, didn't put that nigga. All right, nigga. I did. They might have been is, over yeah. with, but now you got eight million motherfuckers. <laughs> like, we all gonna fight. When y'all gonna meet each other? It Why you don't go to, go to the like Grammys? Chris? So Chris Brown, what is Chris Brown into now? Nothing, man. Chris. Well, it really went. He, he really, didn't start it. But Chris Brown always in the middle of some shit. Yeah. yeah. After, I, this is the thing about Chris Brown. I'm not defending Chris Brown, but Chris Brown is the type of nigga who he is, who he is. Yeah. Right. And I don't know why they keep fucking with keep this fucking nigga. Keep fucking with Chris. You can't mention this nigga in no type of way. When, uh, he, he go, he you go, he go, clap, 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 back. Right. He, no, it. He coming he back a, at you. Females he's a clap real back. life manifesto. Uh, the females you take clap one back. shot at me, I'm throwing a hundred back. <laughs> On the ground. Wherever. So they ain't saying shit. Bruh, they really need to just leave this nigga alone. Man, Chris Brown posted a meme. The nigga Offset said the memes ain't funny lame. And Chris Brown went all the way to 150. Like, mm. not even 100. The nigga went to 150. He started putting up posts. That nigga put up his Bro, he said, address. if you don't get your hippity hip hop, hop bop ass off my page, mm. hey, he DM'd him his that address. That nigga put his real address out there. That's how you know he was for real mad. You know? Ain't no nigga gonna tell you where he stayed. How childish is that? That's not childish. That's some whole Now, if the nigga came over there and shot you in your ass, then you'd have been sitting here like, damn, all that's, over because I I'm said. letting you know how the real shit yeah. is. He, he didn't give a fuck if he came today or next Low week or next week or nothing. Six months from now, nigga. Pull Chris up. Brown, Chris Brown lived like a nigga who stay on Riverdale Road. Like he just got damn me. Pull up, nigga. I'm with, I'm with the shit. Man, that shit. <laughs> these niggas at the. But this, they better he, catch themselves. These niggas out here snitching too. What's the other cat that was snitching? Oh, we, don't oh, talk we ain't gonna about talk about that. him. We won't talk about that. Damn. Mm -mm. He going he going down. He already he already, he, 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 he a little he a little Mickey Mouse. Man, that nigga, man, that, <laughs> that nigga, <laughs> that nigga had a video before he went to prison. Did you see the video? No, nah, I done deleted oh every memory I had of that young nigga out my head. It's so, it's so sad. <laughs> that nigga just said he paid twenty, paid somebody twenty thousand dollars to shoot at a motherfucker. I was like, nigga, what? That is not enough. <laughs> Cause right. motherfucker, nigga. nigga gonna offer you for a five pack of cigarettes. Damn. No, I'm just fucking. Damn. Man. Twenty right. They bite. Yeah, in motherfucker. Yeah, in prison it is. Nigga killed this motherfucker for a year worth of McDonald's salary. Hell yeah, tartar sauce. <laughs> yeah, damn. Nigga. A nigga could have worked and got twenty thousand. <laughs> Niggas is knocking motherfuckers off for a year minimum wage. Right. Hell yeah. $62. Hey, that's $20,000. With the single withholding income oh, tax. That's what I was about to say. That's, that's 20000 before taxes. Nigga, <laughs> nigga, knock your ass off right for $13,000. <laughs> that mean you can save up. Huh. Low. This go. You ain't even taking the deductible. You got to gas up the car. You going to shoot the nigga. You got to get some bullets. You got to get some bullets. Got to have one. First of all, you, you got to have a scheme, man. If you're smart, you start your LLC before you start. You start your uh, contract killer, sir. <laughs> so you can write all this shit off and keep some of the money. Mask. 
Lord. My ass, sixteen dollars. What if you hit a What if you hit a nigga up and ask him to shout you out, man? Shout hey. me out, man. I'm starting a little killing business. Little, little knockoff. Yeah. Surgery, you know? <laughs> if you need some nigga, go. Hey, <laughs> my phone. Hey, Lo, you mind One posting this on your guarantee. page? <laughs> One call. One call. One call. That song. <laughs> You mind posting this on your page? <laughs> Lo, who's, kill us, hey man, y'all hey, fuck with you, the real one. You ain't got a Mario man. started the hitman, sir. Hey, let me tell you something. You need a nigga off, I'm the nigga you put on. <laughs> <laughs> you hear me? Bro, you can start your business on your page right there. Man, now, right there, man. What about the testimonials? <laughs> I was going through some shit at work. I didn't know who to call. I called Mario. Bro. My this, life has been a I'm breeze. So, I'm so. I'm he so killed tired my supervisor. Of, I'm tired of testimonials on them. I'm tired. I mean, because it's like, you ever get caught in the reading the caption where you can't start? I mean, can't stop. You get to reading the shit and then you mad because you just seen that it was long and you done opened it all the way up. Like, oh, when that motherfucker. Oh, in school, I used to get teased. Oh, this bullshit. This bitch lying. Ain't nobody <laughs> teased, huh? <laughs> Teasing. You got you better, you better I was so ashamed. You better fess up. I was so ashamed of having a fat ass. I had the fattest ass in school, and I got teased every day. I was so insecure about my body <laughs> that now that I'm grown and I live in a one bedroom, I can post this ass every day because right. I feel great about myself. With my little shih tzu. God I'm is good. That. I'm going to start. I'll be posting pictures just like that. Now I'm still in the caption. You ain't see the one I posted, nigga? I'm laid oh. up. Feel cute. Might delete later. <laughs> That hey, next I be seeing that post and delete. Next picture I post with some sweatpants on. I was so insecure about my dick in high school. <laughs> it was so huge. I always got made fun of. Post and delete. <laughs> post and delete. Might delete later. Last page deleted at 17,000. <laughs> 17 million yeah. trillion followers. Seven. Follow my new fan Hey, that is. Instagram is Shout a me out for a follow back. You know Instagram will figure out what type of hoes you like. Mm. You better be careful what you like, nigga. You go to your explore page, nigga, it'll be all your wildest dreams. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's you far right. as be listening, bro. You right. You could be just be riding in the car and with your home, but nigga, I need me a redhead bitch with a fat ass. Light skin though, she black. You ain't never seen no shit like this. You be riding two hours later, hit that explore page. Nigga, what the fuck? The whole page for I long. just said a redhead, light skin bitch with purple freckles and green. Here she go right out. With the new Jordans. That's with, the technology I'm with the, o- with. with the overtone. I was about to say with the shoes on. They don't trust yeah. no chick who wear Jordans all the time, man. Oh, yeah. What the fuck she getting all this money from? <sighs> man, listen. Her sugar daddy. Wow. Her, I'm her sugar son. Her sugar daddy was 50. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> who said that, 21? That sounds like a 21 line. That's, 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 like, that's, dumb. that's why that hey. nigga need to be on the streets. Man, that nigga, man. He need 21. That nigga, that nigga man. Got, he got quotable. Los, they the type that are standing in line for some free shit. Mario, this is what I'm thinking. I know the niggas around when, you know, when it, it happened, I know they was like, they thinking they getting raided by the feds. They hiding the dope and shit. Nigga, what a green card. They looking for citizenship. But these police kicking in the dough saying, yeah. oh shit, where your birthday? Yeah. Where your motherfucking Nig- birthday? Niggas flushing the dope and all that shit. We don't want Put the that goddamn weed down. Where the license at? What's your mama maiden name? <laughs> like, whoa, wait a minute. Where yeah. you went to elementary school? <laughs> so the dope cool? What's yeah. your birthplace? You looking for no goddamn dope? <laughs> <laughs> Let me hit that blunt. Now, now pull out your book. <coughs> What's, <the second coughs> What's the second amendment? What's the second amendment? This motherfucker don't know the second amendment. Seen the seen the uh, states? You remember Alabama, Arkansas? Y'all ain't never do that shit. Alabama, Alabama, shit like that. Alabama, Arkansas. Yeah, you ain't learned that. Mississippi, bro. If oh, you yeah. learn how to spell Mississippi, Mississippi arrogant. Yeah, my cricket letter. Learn how to spell Mississippi yeah. both ways, and you good. Yeah, you good. Fuck everybody else. <laughs> Why you want to know how to spell Arkansas? <laughs> you don't like Mississippi or something? <laughs> So what do you ne- mean? Y'all Louisiana. never had to sing the song in third I grade. Song. Hey, in third grade, we were out looking at ducks. <laughs> <laughs> my third grade teacher, one of the coolest white ladies I ever met in my what life. What was her name? I don't you even remember, remember my third grade She was the meanest, teacher. nicest woman ever. Her name mm. was Miss Knight. Her name was Miss Knight. She was like 60-something, but she was pretty as fuck, bro. Mm. Mean as fuck. She was so mean, all the other teachers knew she was mean. 
Mm. Yes, but you could tell she used to be like fine. real, oh, yeah, real yeah, pretty, yeah. but mm. she was just like the old lady version of herself. Of a fine old lady. Yeah. That's a lot of she them. She had them high waisted jeans with the fat ass, but it wasn't a, like the fat white lady ass. Oh. It just be like a little in ass third at the grade, bottom. Like a little, it, it come that. down long. Right. Like white women that have that ass that don't touch their back pockets. They be up under them back pockets. They be pockets. long, yeah. Yeah, just a little bottom part. That it's not hips and it's not no. out. It's just down. Just a little bottom part. Too observant in third grade. Yeah. But in third grade, I was a fool. Shit. Yeah, so. I was one of the coldest niggas ever. I think, the, <laughs> bro, I think the economy was up in third grade because I even had shit that the white kids was like, "Wow, <laughs> right? Yeah, wow." Yeah. I was Carlos. that nigga bringing all four Ninja Turtles to recess. I had all four of them like that. <laughs> oh, play that. See, we ain't had recess at day. my school. Come man. on, bro, you was yeah. wrong. I was eating ice cream every day I had my mom. Now, that's what I got pissed off. I want a nigga who was active anyway with the PE and shit. I ain't give a fuck about that. You tell me I can't buy ice cream at lunch. That's when I I flipped the fuck out. You gonna lose your mind. Nigga, what the fuck? I brought them 50 cent. Cause you get an ice cream with the 50 cent. Oh, I remember one day the ice cream lady got cussed out. I think something happened. Well, like she forgot to plug the shit up and all the ice cream melt. Nigga cussed that. You goofy <laughs> bitch! <laughs> <laughs> you no know, fucking ice cream. What the fuck I'm gonna eat? Your you got, only job the was up. to got, keep got this to bitch cool. Go to ask him. I ain't lost. That's Did it. he call you fuck asshole? <laughs> yeah. You, you cussed to the goddamn ice you cream lady. You fuck ass hoe, you can't plug the shit up. I bro, bet you fuck mashed of, potatoes up too, won't you? one of my guilty pleasures. I love to see people arguing and cussing people out. I love to see a motherfucker get cussed out. Sometimes I, I don't mind waiting in line at customer service. <laughs> and you can always tell Cause somebody who it is, because the nigga who gonna go off, he look at you because he want you to hype him. He want you to come with him, yep. I had a bullshit right here. Had, and I always be hyping them up. Man, what the yeah. fuck going on? And he got that, ooh, that what you, that's how you get, man, what going on? Mm, well, <laughs> you'll see why. <laughs> that, that bitch, and they tell you who it is on bullshit. That bitch right there with that blue hat on. That bitch say something to him. I'm going to fuck off. I be like, <laughs> please say something. I love this shit. I'm right going. You can't right wait to side. see it, boy. Now I'm telling you, and it always be somebody come behind you talking like, man, damn, they done got two people working <laughs> in there. <laughs> <laughs> Look, and then he look around and then look at, he look right at you. Damn, they got two people working in here. He be like, he be like, oh, shit. Here he go. Here he go. He started. Oh, he got two registers then. They, they got five registers. Man, this is bullshit. Man, shit, I got to go to work. I'm sorry. <laughs> Boy, that's a nigga favorite excuse right now. What? Shit, man, I got to. Man. Niggas be about niggas to lose love to it. tell you about their job, boy. <laughs> On the low, niggas be proud to go to work, bro. No, I'm telling you. Niggas be like, let my other job. I'm gonna go shit. I gotta shoot down his mother's job. You know, my brother just got hired on a Nissan. Come on, I got him on. He, I got him right on. And they then had him my, on the my spot. baby boy just started Alabama AM. He yeah, we, just started. We, we, we all worked there. Me and my sister. You know my, you my sister, Trace? Trace? Yeah, she's she, she, she down Nissan. there. My wife down there. She did, she's in the awful part. Yeah, hell yeah. I got my, my boy Chuck on down there. Damn. Man, hey, man, come, come fuck I'm with me. I might come down there and put an application you need to come in fuck with me. They starting off with $15. You got a cigarette? I mean, I got one. Yeah. I got one. You know, I got one. Nigga be all in. It's a big nigga. I, I'm a, you know, you got a cigarette on wax, nigga. It don't even be no segue. That nigga just wait for you to stop talking so he gas. You ever notice how old niggas smoke, though? They got courtesy. If an old nigga get a cigarette from a nigga he don't know, he got to tell him some shit. He, Hell yeah, boy. We went down there. It's some good, it's some good fishing in Georgia. You know that. All up and through Kennesaw, my man. We, yeah, we was fishing two weekends ago up there. Yeah, it was yeah, they gotta throw some bullshit out there. They not just gonna take the cigarette and walk off. You owe them some bullshit. Anytime you get a cigarette from somebody, you gotta tell them some shit. Man, that Waffle House on Ohio Mill ain't shit. I'm telling you, it, it, it just be some random ass shit that you never thought about. What kind of car is that? Don't put them GBF good wrenches on there. You need to put them Michelin on there. You but remember that when they came out, they was blowing up? But if you need the, something, let me know. And then right. they walk off. What right. the fuck? Does, and then why every old nigga got to hook up on tires? You know I got to, you know I get you to the tires. I, I do brake work myself. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the mechanic that only do specific shit. Right. Well, you, I, I do a little brake work, well, I but I, I mostly transmission. Damn, nigga. I hope yeah, you ain't going yeah. far. That back tie bald is a motherfucker. <laughs> right. 
Right. Say some shit. Yeah, they be losing. That might they kill you. Your you can't right. even see back up. That shit got a, that shit bald headed like a hood bitch hair. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you know, I fuck with them old school. Your lip tie ain't got no way. I, I be taking my shit to get, you know, get shit fixed and shit. Mm -hmm. Some of these mechanics crazy as hell, man. Yeah, man. you come on down here. I'm gonna show you what's going on with your car. <laughs> you see that right there? Look at that. Feel how smooth that is. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't supposed to be like that. <laughs> it's, I tricked you. Yeah, like, touch oh, yeah, it's smooth as a motherfucker. Yeah, touch, touch that. You see how smooth yeah, that, that is? Yeah, that is smooth. Touch it, man. You see how smooth that is? <laughs> Yep, it's supposed to have some grooves right there. <laughs> all you see how all them grooves is laid out of there? So hey. what I what I gotta do? Well hell, I can order the part. <laughs> I want to call you down here and show it to you. Just so you can see what's going on. I know it's forty five minutes away, but touch that again. <laughs> See how smooth that is? It's just yeah, it's it I see where it was grooves, though. see where those grooves used to be. It used to be there. right there, yeah, man. They, they, they so, squirt so them on so there. So how could it just come off like that? What happened? It, well, probably your flywheel. Oh. It, once I, that fly, I, see, I, once that, that flywheel gets loose, it just gets to moving in there. That's why it's so Slide it on down. Yep. Yeah, I can order that part, though. That part, <laughs> uh, I already <laughs> priced it. That part ain't but $9. <laughs> So what about how to keep the flywheel from messing up the grooves? Well, you're gonna have to take it out of there eventually. Cause that motor, that, that motor, uh -huh. that motor you got in there, it's really too big for, for that, that flywheel. For you're that gonna flywheel. have to, you're gonna either have to put a racing one in there uh -huh. or a competition one. Feel how smooth that is. Let's do that again. I see, and there used to be grooves right there. Oh, yeah. I see. See, Damn. that's your problem right there. I can have you fixed up here in the next 20 How much minutes. is it going to be for the labor? Uh, the labor's going to run yet. The part $9 was scooter. <laughs> How long it take you to fix that? <laughs> I tell you what. <laughs> hey, you know what? That's what they get you. That's when they get you. The price right. already in his head anyway when he asked Scooter. Never mind. Tell me, I, tell you, right. <laughs> I tell you what. I tell you what. <laughs> But the price they give you, and you know it's a little bit more than it's supposed to be, but it'd be an odd number, so you think it's right. Give me an even $117 all together. Out hey. the door. Out the door. I, I, I put yeah. it on there. Was me. Scooter finna say something, though? Nah. Scooter, it's my motor, man. Scooter! <laughs> <laughs> then school to come out and tell you about some shit you ain't asked nothing about. I'm working on a 72 Cougar back there. <laughs> that some Ch bitch is a beast. It's changing the oil pan. Hey, mechanics, it. I always be impressed by a car you don't give a fuck about. I got a Lincoln station wagon back there that runs like a brand new car. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? Nobody want that shit. Hey, listen, why at every mechanic shop, they got a deer head in that bitch where they done killed some shit. With an old ass calendar. It be dusty. 1989 Cincinnati Bronco. What team is this? 72, <laughs> look, 72 Budweiser bitch girls Man, on the calendar. Come on. <laughs> that motherfucker shit be from May 2000. Black shit all on their head. They eating the whole fucking shit. Uh, they eating it. <laughs> The whole sandwich, the the oil, oil all down the <coughs> wrist. Man, he eating the, he eating the sandwich and smoking a cigarette. <laughs> At the same time. You got the I, cigarette hanging off your lip eating the sandwich. About to choke. I know I said I had you finished by two, but I ain't shit all day. I, 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 I gotta day. eat. You said you got a uh, you got a father and daughter dance to go to at nine? <laughs> yeah, you might not make it today. <laughs> might not make it today. What I tell you on the phone? How much I take? 117? <laughs> 117. God damn it, I forgot you were coming up here. <laughs> uh, I mean, I got you pretty much done, but you, we got to put your hood back on. Why the fuck is my hood off? And you said it and was. We took it off. It was up under there. <laughs> it was under the bottom. That should be funny to me, man. I never stop fucking with though. I just, the mechanic people, they're the funniest motherfuckers. Man, you got to love them. And you got to have a good black one and a good white one. Bro, the black ones, now them the ones who be doing the goddamn most. They be done took shit off. They ain't, you ain't told them not, not to fuck with. But you know what? Them black ones do the simple shit real cheap. That you wouldn't fuck with. Nigga. But they gonna do some shit you ain't asked them to fuck with. They gonna, they gonna fuck with some shit. 
shit though. Hey man, what you do? Yeah, I put some more HUD caps on there. You ain't gotta give me number twenty. Man, yeah. I don't want no HUD caps on my yeah. shit. <laughs> I saw your your uh, head panel was lying and was hanging down, so I went ahead and they put that up. Yeah, they I mean, put pictures of some shit you ain't even know they fuck with. Oh. You remember how your trunk went over? <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> Told you. Got that motherfucker head on the first bump. About, it's nothing about seventeen dollars for that Boy. one. Boy, nigga. And if you after you pay them, you still got to stand there for an hour so they can tell you fourteen times what they did. To what your they car did to get your road. shit running back. Yeah, back. you bought it in here. Well, you mean you bought it? It was smoking all that there. I, I told you. I said it's it, it, either that fuel pump or, or that oil. And is it probably your oil seal? That's what he I said. I checked the damn oil seal. Get that's what, on what, there. That's what, what he said. Get what on there. Motherfucker ain't even have no, uh, no, uh, 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 ain't even have no goddamn, uh, um, uh, what yeah, uh, that son bitch ain't even have no goddamn, uh, uh, it wasn't even no goddamn, uh, uh, shit, what's that thing? Uh, and why every mechanic got something goddamn, wrong with him? Uh, neck, hand, shit, and uh, yeah, something, can't move the neck. Ah, uh, or a pan gasket, that's what that motherfucker ain't have. I look on there, that motherfucker ain't have not a nail gasket. That's why you smoking so bad. Shit. Yeah, I put them out them gas, I put them gas on there, I had them gas on there Sunday. I ain't do nothing Monday. My foot swole up. I ain't. I remember I called you. When, when, I ain't, when, I ain't when, even do when you had ate all that salt, I told you that yeah, sodium. I ain't, I ain't even do nothing. You Monday. had them skins, my and foot, I said, put them goddamn skins down. My foot down swole now. up so big on me. I said, I ain't even gonna go out there and fuck I with that told car. You. I, I ain't told no you. Car. Matter of fact, I ain't even leave out the house yeah. that whole day. And then, you know, I got up early Tuesday morning. It looked like it was gonna rain. <laughs> I sat there a good hour or two. My yeah. knees hurt. I knew it was going to rain. Yeah, I sat on that porch an hour or two. I look up, hell, it ain't do nothing. So I got to going down there and fucking with it. And put them, I took them, I looked down there again. And then I uh, had slipped the gasket. I put the gasket back on there. And, uh, and then, hell, I got I to fucking you. with that starter. You know your starter was finna go out. Yes. Yeah. How, did, how did that boy starter go out now? Well, hell, he, he probably, because you know, uh, what well, he said. That boy didn't ask to get his starter fixed. No, because he said that girl put that key in there, and when it was already started, she just kept bumping it forward and mm -hmm. drug that starter and them pissing more wide around there, and then it broke. Them that damn girls was. drive your ass crazy. Yeah, that's what it was. So, hell, by, the, by then, I looked down there, and I said, that boy, I might as well, since I had to start off, I looked over there that and uh and you needed the damn uh transmission seal. So I, I, I took that and did that while I was under there in uh hell. <laughs> then I got everything buckled back up and I look and I said, that boy, only my damn nephew will oh. be driving a goddamn car with no goddamn windshield wipers. <laughs> boy I ain't had a god I boy I turned the windshield wipe. That motherfucker scratched his head out there. <laughs> This goddamn boy done bought me this damn car with no windshield wiper. So, I change, so you changed that too? I, put the, I went up there in the hell. I said, uh. How you go under I the said, car I, and get on no, top of the car? the first time I went up there, I said, let me get a, uh, let me get the windshield. That one, the first one they gave me too goddamn long. You soon as you cut them on, they get the hooking together. So then, uh, <laughs> I took them off. I took them back up there and got my $11. Then I shot over there the van. They got them autos on them. Fuck, every time I shot the van. <laughs> Put me right up. Right on and there. And it wasn't but no goddamn eight dollars. So down under the ranch. I'm, I'm gonna let you slide on that. So you just give me twelve, thirteen dollars. Yeah, so now you owe me all together, uh seven seven dollars. You owe me seven seven dollars. <laughs> <laughs> McKinney got some stupid ass prices. With man. the with the one seventeen. But now they, he uh, that was for that. That was for the other stuff. That's a bunch. That's for the other stuff. That's, 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 that's how it be though. And why mechanics always know all the all he, they fuck with all the bitches. They do. He got Cause to. you know all, they got they always getting their car fixed. They got to all of them. But look, when they tell you they 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 already done beat the competitor. You don't want to go down there. He gonna charge you more than I'ma charge mm -hmm. you. He don't know what the fuck yeah, you talking he about. He don't know what he doing. Over he there. don't know what he doing. Yeah. Every every time a mechanic get a car from a woman, he always say, "Man, that girl bought that goddamn car over here. Ain't had a motherfucking drop of oil in it." I don't know how that goddamn motor ain't locked up on. Ain't got, a, it, ain't got an oil train since she got the goddamn ain't, car. Ain't man. got a damn drop of oil in there. Ain't got. And the girl windshield wiper fluid <laughs> dry as a bone. I seen it. I pulled it out. It was dry. Man. It didn't even have. She couldn't even wipe it. If it got dirty, 
That girl would have wrecked something trying to text and drive down to them. Shout out Don't to all me. the black mechanics, man. It's Black Shut History Month. Don't These ask the me people what's that wrong need with to be a car. Celebrated. Bitch, what's right with your car? Black History Month. That's who Ties needs to be ball? celebrated, bro. The real mechanics of the neighborhood. Because you know that black, keep us moving. black men invented fixing cars. I don't give a yeah. fuck what nobody said. It was a black man who first invented a car. Nigga didn't even have a car. Henry, he Ford, Henry Ford stole that too from a black man. Listen to me, bro. Believe that. Oh, I know. Yeah. You stole that shit. Black History Fact 101. Shit. I guess we on 101. Mm -hmm. I know a black man invented the car. Yeah. Because we the only ones who ride together. White people ain't need to take everybody. We the only, That's our shit. Think about it. Get away from some shit. Come on, man. Ford. Four deep. That's what, that Ford is short for four deep. Who the fuck ride four deep? Us. Think about it. Four staffer, fuck out of here. We riding deep. Come on. <laughs> Everybody was in there. Everybody was fuck in there. Fuck out of here. Everybody. Riding deep. Come on, man. Fuck off. We riding Family deep. Family overriding dolo. What? You hear me? It took me a minute, but I came right behind you. Four or rain, damn it. <laughs> what? Just trying to throw it in there. Yeah, I tried to see if it worked. If it worked, it was gonna work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I like, like I like Chevy's though. You motherfucking right. I like Chevy's. I I fuck with Chevy's ever since I was a little boy. Remember the old Chevy, Chevy song? Like a rock. Mm-hmm. Going strong as I can be. Like a rock. Sold it right there. Nothing ever got to me. Sold it right there. Oh, like a rock! They don't use, they don't it just them. be a white man in a truck riding with dust behind him. Man, it used to be some good ass commercials. <laughs> and then, and then look, that, I that, feel that, like chicken tonight. And then they come on to say some dope ass shit after that. After like more over team, please. Soon, as soon as he riding through the dust, he be like, <laughs> "You, you ever want to feel like the rest behind you? Get a Chevy. Whoa, Silverado. Come on, man." Come on. Like a rock. Give me always, up 409. I always, I I always fucked with the Overteen, bro. Oh, I always Mr. wanted them please. to do a commercial with Outkast. <laughs> well, well, Ain't team. nobody drinking me. We drinking this Overteen. That would have went so motherfucking hard. That should have been dope. Mom's making rich chocolate Overteen. Nigga, I ain't even know what that was. Them motherfuckers ran in the house. Man, when we was in the uh, grocery store. I saw the old team. I was like, Mom, we gotta get this. Boy, you don't put that shit down. <laughs> Boy, that shit fucked up my whole grocery oh, shopping trip. Bro, old hey, team, you that right? is the black mother's favorite line in the store. Put that shit no, down. No, it ain't even down. Even say it. If you don't put this shit down, <laughs> it comes in a threat. And then it, it look. You know how many times she threatened you in the store? I ain't hit you one time. She just still shopping. How many? How much shit? Do get you have your to ass. No. How much mm -hmm. shit do you have to pick up before you piss your mama off and she just hit you? Down? <laughs> Put the goddamn shit down. Hey, when they do their team like this, they when went, they don't even want to say shit to they you. Done, they done beat you the whole, hey, through man. the whole store and wait to the end and the checkout. To, go ahead, get you a piece of candy. Hey, man, y'all, like, I know everybody damn. here love their parents, but let's just take a moment to laugh at they broke ass. Because they ain't shit, man. They what? Shit. Man, man, what? Man, <laughs> It was the husband's business. You had to put this shit Stop back. Stop asking me put for this shit. shit back. Everything. Fruit snacks, a dollar. Put that shit back. Lose. It's broke as fuck. A dollar for you some know, gushes? Bitch, gushes? Lowe's, you know I knew my mama was fucked up. Black when history. I smushed the I bread black when we put mode. it in the car. Black. What you say, bro? Bro, I smushed the bread when I put it in the car. That man, like I fucked up the whole year of money. Like, I done fucked up one pack of dope or something. You shit. did, man. You did. I, I can't have fuck. shit. You know how important <laughs> I work all damn day and you don't appreciate shit. Man, it was a mistake. <laughs> man, bro, dude, I, bro, dude, I can't bro. believe you will sit pork chops on a damn bread. <laughs> I looked down, the motherfucker was smushed as a motherfucker. You know, man, do you know how to All the bread look like end pieces. Hey, man. We had a whole row of in. Well, you know, be cussed out for some stupid shit, y'all, boy. 
Nigga, you fucking around and be hungry at home and eating two sandwiches back to back. <laughs> All them goddamn sandwiches! <laughs> Just don't, you don't want to save nobody shit! <laughs> So you just gonna eat up everything, yeah. huh? You know how important a loaf of bread up. was and a black oh, pepper. Shit. shit, a loaf of bread was it like was the sunbeam. Man, I, I fucked up the bread pot. and the black family. Go Nigga, with anything. To save cereal. Save some of them goddamn cereal. You don't gotta eat all them goddamn cereal today. I know goddamn well <laughs> you ain't opened up two damn boxes of cereal. And the fuck the point about it, they expect us to survive on one you loaf. It's six us in this bitch. You need these $3 ass for a loaf? <laughs> a bag, a dog food bag of them for $3. We bring that shit in with the dog food. Oh, <laughs> the dog, oh. the dog run to the wrong bag. Hey man, this shit's so funny. He licking the food, the food in We didn't even, know, bro. We been <laughs> abused. We been abused our whole goddamn life. Man, I'm not gonna choose us like we was shit. What they broke in? Giving us egg sandwiches. Come on, man. man my mama, come on. <laughs> nigga, we my eat mama. noodles and shit. Yeah, noodles man. is ten cents a pack. And they feed I ain't to never like them shit. I think I may have ate a half a. A bowl of noodles in my life total combined. Mm. Man, them motherfuckers do not. I know. Man, yeah. Lowe's, I knew I was fucked up. I started eating the shit with tuna. No, nah, I can't eat that Cutting shit. up pieces of chicken and no <laughs> sandwich meat. <laughs> cut up, I cut up bologna in that motherfucker. Put a little bell pepper in that motherfucker, goddamn. There's so much shit I won't eat. That shit is one of them. I do not fuck mm -hmm. with that. I don't fuck with the tuna. I, I, I don't eat too I, much I, of I will, though. Oh. But nah. Get some goddamn noodles. Oh my God! Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I can't do it. Hell no. But it ain't my mom and them just don't know how, <coughs> how like you said they, they was poor, but at the same time yeah. they survived. They tried. I'm yeah. glad we black ass Chick tried. They when I was growing up, I would have never tasted Polynesian sauce. Nigga. Man, listen, I'm glad we had a piece of her buffet back in the day. Nigga, that shit used to that hit. That shit just so funny. Nigga, oh. you remember you get, used to Hold get up, the Pizza the Hut coupon for reading books? I'm yeah, saying, get I'm a free pizza. Like, this the funny shit about it, nigga. Prices have went up in our lifetime. I'm mm -hmm. thinking about how much shit cost when it's we were little. Fuck. Nigga, then. Four bags of chips for a dollar. <laughs> and you couldn't even get a bag of chips. Put that shit in there. <laughs> it's a quarter. <laughs> ain't good for a quarter in this motherfucker. No. I done swept the no. porch. Hey, you I not... vacuumed the house. I can't get a bag of quarter Put chips. Put that shit down. And a hug juice that's 25 cents. <laughs> you ain't worth 50 <laughs> I ain't shit to you. All that, you. All that shit and you did, they add up to 50 And they expect the all rest of the world to fuck shit. with us. Y'all don't even fuck with us. You get oh, slave man. money. I got to get you a candy bar. This bitch is 50 cents <laughs> with tax. So with Put the, that shit down. <laughs> with the chips and the candy bars, a dollar oh eight. God damn, you ain't worth nothing. Yeah, if you don't put that down, I will slap you in your back of your head. I can't take like, you nowhere without you asking for shit. Man, it's 50 cent worth of shit. You don't hand first, me them two quarters, first motherfucker. Of all, first of all, man. Five dimes, ma ten nickels. Ma I am a child. Oh. Yes, I'm going to ask for shit. Who the fuck you think you... My little girl got it too good at the us reminiscing right now. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Cause we, Eminem now 108. Easy. We must be yeah. weak ass parents, bro. You ever just be riding with your kid and just look at the back of Y'all want something from the store? <laughs> yeah. Cause they just had that look and you can just feel that feeling. Yeah. They just look at Yes, that was nice. <laughs> They want some chips. Yeah, they ain't Man, get some shit. Get whatever y'all yeah. want. Like, y'all took your nephews and shit. Chip? They bring that one shit to. I just get a juice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Right. Your what you gonna get? get you I'm just gonna get this right here. One pack of Starburst. That's Dude, it. That's all you want? All right. That's it. Oh, and then here it is, you come up here with a whole handful of shit and just throw it on the counter. They're like, oh shit, I didn't know we could have got that. Yeah, yeah, it's too late Lose, now. Come one on. One day, this is a true story. I'm at the park, you know how the ice cream, I'm with my daughter. The ice cream truck, I got her and her cousin. The ice cream truck come, I don't have no cash on me. So she was like, Dad, I get some ice cream. I was like, I ain't got no cash on me. Man, I saw the look in her face. I said, y'all get in the car. I drove their ass to Walmart, got them a whole box of the ice cream. Don't you ever think your dad ain't got money around this don't motherfucker. I, yeah, I just had my I car just, on. I ain't had no cash. I had yeah. a whole box of the goddamn. Uh, I don't let people tell their kids to push shit down when I'm in this stuff. Uh, Put that. No, the fuck you ain't, sweetheart. You get all that shit if you want to.
No, he shut don't that, need that. He don't shut need that, that crying yeah, up. Do. Yeah, you do. He Baby don't want none but the beef jerky. Oh, you about here about to kill him. I used truth. to love Slim Jim. Man, I used to love them motherfuckers. I, I ain't never fucked You ain't fucked with the Slim Jim, bro? Nah, my nigga. What? Not even Dang. Macho Man Randy Savage could convince Slim me. Slim Jim chill. Fight on the Slim Jam. Man, he said that about the Slim Jim. Not even the Sasquatch? No, I ain't fucking with none of that. Damn, I used bro. to fuck with them, too. Them commercials was funny as fuck. Them, fuck the fucking with Sasquatch. Dude. Man, now, all the commercials were funny back in the day. Yeah, bro. Hey, but man, they got, got some dope ass commercials. Man, you, you see this shit? Bill Cosby lawyer said he thought jail was an amazing experience. <laughs> I don't know if they're just in that bullshit. No, he's still in oh. there. But apparently he's having fun. Bro, the nigga really is, man, it's not he fun. Might, he but might be. I thought, I ain't think what if they making the motherfucker walk around and act like Dr. Hustle? <laughs> He the is. big homie on 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 the uh, in the gym, man. He think that shit funny. Man, you know what? Dr. Oxford. Yeah. Uh -huh. you What's got, on? Go on? I got on. some pudding for you if you say, uh, you that pudding. Mm -hmm. Tell us about these niggas. You know, right before everybody goes to sleep, niggas just get yelling at shit. Tell us about Rudy, nigga. Man, don't nobody want to hear that shit. Shut up, Marla. <laughs> hey, hey, Dr. Oxford. What was Claire like? <laughs> Little niggas in jail. They don't, Cause do you know one thing about niggas? They only know you from what they know you yeah, from. Right. They don't know nothing about the Bill Cosby shit. Nothing about, yeah. They 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 don't know nothing about that. They, Until they all see they you know in there. is mm -mm. Cliff. They've been watching the news. They're like, man, we know you ain't do that shit, bro. You raised up. We know you ain't do that shit, Dr. Hostable. And then one nigga be like, hey man, was that real food y'all be eating on set, bro? Ain't no sandwich you used to eat, bro. This real guy, nigga. Man, when you let Theo cut the turkey, you nigga. was a real nigga for that, bro. But on some real nigga shit, though, I ain't even know they sold that kind of bread. Mm. What bread? That, that kind, the sub bread. Oh, that he I would eat that when was he was on the field. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, because every time I went, we just went to the aisle of bread. Oh, bread. Yeah, I ain't know. You never went to the bakery. I didn't know you could do that. I thought they was really from the future. Mm, that's dope. Hell yeah. Nigga, that's why I love Publix. Mm. I just go to that bakery. Mm. I you know can do why, a commercial. You know why I fuck with Publix, bro? bro? It's because Publix don't have people who work at Publix who specialize in making sandwiches. They just people who work in the deli doing the best they can. Because they act like they ain't never made. You ever had a sandwich made at Publix? Nigga act like it was their first time. Bro, what's, what you say you want, bro? <laughs> okay, okay, turkey. <laughs> turkey. Turkey. Uh, you want some cheese on that motherfucker? <laughs> Boys yeah. had a, a regular. You want the hot <laughs> shit or the okay, okay, oh, turkey. Shit, I I'll be right back. Regular, Nigga, run over there and cut the turkey, bring it back. Cut the turkey for you, bro. Then he make the little sandwich. You want some I'm a, I'm gonna tell you what I like about Publix too. They always got some shit they cooking. The free sample shit. Right. They always cook. Nigga, Nigga. I stand in line like a motherfucker. It be some pecan salmon asparagus. I thought you was shit. talking about that shit. <laughs> be like, God damn. Do you know like you, you can you, sample? Like if you over by the deli shit, like don't Publix always act like they cooking dinner for like a church or some shit? It always some shit a big that ain't thing. on the floor yet. You're like, man, what the fuck y'all got in this smoker? <laughs> Oh no, that's some that's some lemon pepper turkey wings we like, got. Who the fuck needs nine lemon pepper, lemon pepper, pepper chickens? Wings. Whole chickens. Y'all just doing that the shit. Just spinning. to let me know you got the capability to do that. Mm. At one time. I like Kroger though. Ten for ten. I fuck with it. Nigga, in Walmart. Trying to save me some money. You ever be shopping in Walmart and fuck around and look in there and they just done put some of them chickens out? Them the chicken be prices be be stupid though. Man. It'd be some shit like Three dollars a twin ass me for the whole, whole chicken. goddamn chicken and three chicken fingers is five dollars. I will forever <laughs> fuck with Walmart. My first year in college, man, we used to go there and eat at Walmart all the time, and we ain't pay for not one meal. Stop mm. admitting shit, bro. We nah. live well, no, cause wait before you defend yourself. We live in the technology era. They probably still got that footage. Oh, I, stop saying they shit. caught me no, eventually. Low. Stop saying that shit. They I, ain't do nothing but make you leave. Now that we live in a time where they oh, want to yeah. bring up old I, shit I ain't and never charge did. you. I ain't, I ain't did none of that. No. Mm -mm. Man, no, but if y'all would have knew how they ran down on me, Walmart security stopped. You don't get the fuck out my face. I, I tried can't to feel run, sorry for you, but you it was stealing. one nigga. You was wrong. I wasn't stealing. I was eating. Have you ever? Have you ever went to the? Have you ever went to the? Deli? Stealing is when you all take that weed. Some, and try to, some, so, hand me some so, of that weed. So have, have, have I don't, you ever, I don't uh, even touch it. Who weed is that? I purchased that weed. I got some better weed. Have you ever ordered some wings and walked around and that's ate some motherfuckers? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I was doing. Oh, they security guys. That's what I was doing. But was you? What was you gonna pay for? I don't have no more either. I gave you my switches. Oh, son. You got some switches? Uh, 
I had, no. Uh, Shut the fuck uh, up. <laughs> I'm about to say in my car, but I don't think I do in my car though. Um, nah. I don't have no swishes. Hey, but I low, got some papers. This real shit. I, I ate an edible though. When? when? Uh, damn. Damn. Like, damn. I'm gonna say we just date. I so much weed. Them shits don't even work. Man, I don't yeah, even know what them. See, I don't even know what them me, is. I was hallucinating. I was like, damn. Man, Cause I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a fat ass nigga, so I'm just eating a brownie. I'm like, man, this shit ain't doing shit. Then next thing I know, I was high as fuck. For real? But the brownie was so good, it had some good moisture to I it. I be want to know how how you how do I know it's high when I smoke weed and I know I'm high. So what the fuck do I know the brownie? When how do I know it's getting me high? I don't eat a lot of edibles. I ain't never felt shit. For real? Damn. Yeah, cause y'all smoke though. A person right. who don't smoke. Right. Do Someone does y'all high different mm -hmm. than if you hit a blunt high. If you go back to the old episodes when we was in LA, I ate about, I ate about two bags of edibles. Two bags? Ask him. It's on there. I was eating them shits the whole time. And shit don't do them make a nigga go to sleep. But you yeah. smoke a lot, though. I do. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't. I don't, so I your want, I would want to take some shit and hallucinate one day. I really want to see the type of shit I see. I Because if I've heard if you hallucinate some shit, it ain't the shit that you really seeing. It's just what you think you seeing. So that shit is only in your mind. So I feel like one day in my life, I need to hallucinate and see what type of shit I see. Right. Yeah, I heard it's a bit. Yeah. That's After dope. Because that I've never, though, I never hallucinated. Me either. I've been watching yeah. that Joe Rogan podcast. They always, white people got some drugs niggas don't know nothing about. Mm. Huh. White people got some drugs that do shit, shit like, don't do nothing, make you have good dreams of shit. Mm. Yeah, make you be good at algebra and shit. And you can connect with some shit that make you shit. Yeah, not no drugs that's gonna have you doing crazy shit. Right. Math, but they do do that, but it's some other Was shit. Was you ever in them AP classes? Who, me? Yeah. Either I, one of y'all. Yeah, I had a few of them. Yeah. What, um, talking about an elementary? Or in high school? Hell no, high what's, school. What's AP class? Advanced plates. So you wasn't in there. No, yeah. I wasn't in there. <laughs> you I wasn't in that shit. You <laughs> wasn't in that shit. Mario, when like, he said oh, elementary. Went, he just went to school. <laughs> I went to school football. I'm out of this bitch. It's school, man. School football. What was, not this bro, what was high school like, bro? Since we talking about black history, man. What, man, was, you, what was you like shit. in high school? Man, I, I I don't think I was the youngest nigga in my high school that had a car in my whole little clique. So, you know, it was what going down. What you was down. riding in back in the day? Uh, uh, Cadillac Eldorado. Nigga, you been a pimp. Yeah, it was over. Macaroni shit. Come on, man. We, it, it's been going down. How your Black History Month been going? Man, great. Shit. Got uh, my son starting his first acting class on Saturday. He been doing good on that shit. So that's black. That's history in the making. Shout out to your son. Yeah, he starts Saturday. That's what's up. So I got that shit working. That, and, is, um, that is dope. Yeah. Man, just, you know what, man? It's so Why dope. Why you playing this wedding music? Yeah. It's so dope to be motherfucking black, man. I see all these black people making a shot. Like we were talking about Jay-Z, man, and everybody. But it's, Bro, it's just Jay-Z the realest nigga It's just this millennium. It's just amazing. Jay-Z <clears throat> is the new Frederick Douglass. He literally you know what I want to know? To freedom. I want to know this, man. Who is going? Hold up, we need to dwell on that for a minute. You said Jay Z is going to be the Jay Z. Frederick, is no, the, the is new the new Frederick Douglass. He mm, is leading yeah. niggas to freedom. And niggas out here getting fucked in the game, mm. not even fucked, just catching unfortunate situations. He, he showed up to the people rescue people with their taxes. He didn't help people with their legal fees. He's helped people escape deportation. Not escape, but he's done everything that mm -hmm. he did not have to do. And we have on this show, this podcast man, right here, dope. we got to show some recognition for that. Man. For Jay -Z. Shout out to Jay-Z. Jay-Z helped niggas when he didn't have to. And, and, didn't even and, know and, and that's like what that. we're supposed to be doing. Right. That's dope. Yeah. yeah. When, you, that's do, dope when you can pass blessings to other people like that, that's mm -hmm. when you live and then you're in That's your when you live it. Yeah. And people don't, every blessing don't have to be financial, bro. Everybody no. is willing and capable of blessing somebody else. And then just the thought of you being willing to do, help somebody. That's what's going I try to do that's, one that's thing that's a day. Yeah, that's continuous blessing. Yeah, I just bought the nigga at the store two beers. See what I'm saying? The homeless nigga said got it was him his on his, got him Even on his though feet. I know that's his game, <laughs> and he think that I believe that this is his birthday. Yeah. I'm not going I'm not a dream killer. Like I ain't gonna sit up here and all That's why I bought him two beers, because you know? I know the next motherfucker ain't gonna give him one. Mm. And if it's really your birthday, you deserve to be at your best drunk. Yeah. <laughs> Regardless, on your birthday. Right. Who the fuck wouldn't even if I yeah. walked up to you and said, man, you know the day my birthday, man. Shit, get it. Let's there. speak on you. You'd be like, That's oh, a shit. great topic. Yeah. Birthday drunk. Mm. Oh man, I was fucked up on my birthday. But see. That's exactly how your birthday story is supposed to start if yeah. you're a person who drink. 
man, I got so fucked up on my birthday. I like out of all days. Yeah. I'm not myself a personal, you know, connoisseur of alcoholic spirits and shit like that. Right. Really? You don't drink like that? Hell no. I do sometimes. Uh uh. But a nigga might say that like, uh, I ain't drunk since my birthday. I got so motherfucking drunk. Hey, shit, I boy, woo. Why a nigga think down. if he hit you with the ass, it make you shit? Nigga, <laughs> I was so motherfucking drunk. Woo, and I was You hear me? Woo. Fucked up. I'm going to start doing this. When niggas throw that, you hear me in there, I'm like, what you say, bro? <laughs> I want to be the nigga. Run it back. I don't want no words to be wasted around me. No. Ah. If a nigga asks me, you heard me? I'm gonna be like, no, say that shit again, bro. <laughs> Say, hit me one more time. <laughs> you, I said, a lot of yeah. niggas don't know how to talk. Like, yeah. You watch rap interviews. Man, niggas you watch start, them college footballs, all, all them the NFL interviews. I don't even nah, know why that's the what Mario. Interview them athletes. sport niggas can't talk for shit. Them niggas cannot. A lot talk. of them athlete dumb as a motherfucker, man. And they say the same goofy ass shit. You know, I'm just here. The same you know, we in the team. We executed the in the second man, quarter. Man, them niggas don't like you. I watched Sports Center this morning. They all called you a selfish little bitch. That's why they ain't walk by you while you was doing your interview. Boo! As soon as you Don't said, nobody on the team fuck with you, yeah, bro. This like, right. a, this like a family. We like a family. No, y'all not. <laughs> y'all like some motherfuckers who cheating on each other. Y'all don't fuck with each other like that. Y'all finna get traded in two Y'all just two stuck days. with each other. Y'all like a married couple that can't sell the house Man, yet. LeBron is a real nigga, but you can tell he don't give a fuck about nobody. Hey, LeBron cold hearted, team. bro. Yeah, he don't give a fuck that about that team. That nigga just tried to trade the whole team and the shit and didn't go through. And then he came back and oh, said. Oh, talking about the Lakers? Yeah, man, he, he, tried, tried, he tried to clean house. He Again? tried to get the coat. Like the same way he did with Cleveland? The trainers. LeBron was mad at them niggas. Like, man, all them niggas got it. I don't give a fuck who you got to get magic. Even if you got to bring your ass out here and play, get these niggas out of here. Hold on. And then when the trade Bron deadline Bron passed, off. when the trade deadline passed, they asked Bron, they were like, how it feel? Well, whatever guys we got here, we family, we just gonna make it work. <laughs> like, I'm still gonna trade you motherfuckers, <laughs> but I missed the deadline. Bro, dude, but the summer bro, come, you bitches gone. He ain't fuck with that team, bro. That we gonna go and put he it He hate the coach. Man, this nigga ain't like the team so much, he just went up and, oh, my foot, I don't feel like playing. So he, now he, do y'all, okay, now, is it a time where we gonna say that Bron Bron just mm -mm, be doing mm -mm, too much? Mm -mm. Oh, no. Or Bron, or Bron wait, Bron, wait, no. wait. Or Bron Bron, Bron just, everywhere he, he go, not, nobody like Bron. not calling Bron this Bron nigga just Bron, Bron Nope, that nigga got three sons, man. They got two sons, you can't not call him Bron Bron no more. I, His yeah, son, Bron Bron. Are y'all related? Bron. It's LeBron. LeBron. LeBron J. LeBron You're not J. about to call that nigga LJ. LeBron. I'm going to call him LJ. No. Can't call him LJ? Yeah, go ahead. I mean, why but you want to call this nigga a nickname so bad? You know him <laughs> like that? That's my cousin. Listen. What? Hey, man. When do we When do we get this nigga the goddamn say, look, now, Brian, what you going to do? Are you going to make a legacy on the no, team? No, we don't have So to just do say, that. fuck it. We don't have to Let him that. ride. We Everywhere. And they're gonna, be, and they gonna be at the Bucks next. Bruh, LeBron James <laughs> is so talented at basketball, he gonna make niggas like wherever he go. If the shit don't work out in LA and he can't build his own team, that nigga gonna go to Utah and the shit gonna work. Wherever that nigga go, that's who we fucking with. Man, he might, fuck. he might start his own expansion team. Come on, man. He needs to. The LeBron, Le LeBron James. That'll be Nike dope. gonna pay for it. <laughs> That'll be dope. Where they'll play at, Los? Man, as a LeBron fan, the only only criticism of LeBron's game of me, I think he believe in other niggas too much. Right. Man. He mm. is the passingest nigga in the You the best nigga on the court. Come on, man. You tired? <laughs> Don't pass it to them sorry motherfuckers. Bro, you ever be watching LeBron? If you can't do it, you know goddamn well. I don't they like can't. when he let a little nigga trap him up. Like that nigga can't fucking guard you. This nigga went to community college, man. That nigga just came out of the AA League. Who is this nigga? <laughs> And Bron, he, he, he kick it over. Corver. Los. Corver. You said the nigga faked his injury. Just, ah, my just foot. Just not to be around the my nigga. My foot. Because he was still on the ground having fun like a motherfucker. But he said, did everything to said, let him know he wasn't about to bring me a hot dog. He was doing the shoot Somebody bring me a hot dog. Bring me a hot dog from up there. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga was doing the shoot day. Yeah. <laughs> what he was saying was, somebody bring me a hot dog. Y'all thought he was shooting. He was like, yeah, bring me two of them. Two of them. 
<laughs> he don't give a fuck. He don't give a fuck. We don't give a fuck either. No, we love the entertainment. Come on, man. Basketball is dope. They were like, shit. They were like, LeBron, how, how's your hamstring? Oh, my like, what? Did, did oh, have... shit. Yeah, it's, uh... That ain't it's all right. <laughs> did, did y'all hear about Rich the Key and them getting robbed or some shit? No. Hell no. No. <laughs> no. Usher, right? Usher. In LA, but they, they said they didn't rob Usher, though. I, mean, I just was looking at the So the rap again. nigga got robbed and not the singer. Rich the Kid and not Usher. What if the niggas was robbing? The niggas that Usher? Usher. Him alone. But get this nigga. <laughs> nah, they robbed everybody but Usher. Usher so that Usher got hell. more street cred. <laughs> Man, that nigga Usher that nigga. Yeah. Like, I but think Usher I, got right. Because you, you know, said that in my mind, I just seen a gay stand nigga. Like, like, pull a hit on him. Nah. Yeah, get it. That nigga acting like, uh, nah, what's the name on power? Hey, Usher, uh, hey, Usher Raymond, step out in the hall, bro. Step out for You me. good. Yeah. You straight. You made confession. I made my son to you, bro. Uh, you Usher, uh, Usher fuck around and had it. Hey, listen here. I'm going to step hey, out and go to the bathroom. Same at 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. Yeah, hey, nigga, lay the fuck down, nigga. <laughs> Ain't nobody ask you to say shit. All right, yeah, boy, yeah. you stay up, bro. Hey, Usher, you didn't see us. Hey, hey man, can we get a picture from you? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you don't follow me back. <laughs> My girl ain't gonna believe I robbed these niggas and saw you. Hey, take a picture. Look, he got the pills on that nigga on the floor. Take a picture right here. Oh, man, Usher, other nigga. Hey, bro, you straight? You need to? You good? You need to ride or something? You fuck with these niggas like this? Lay the fuck down. I want Talking them. about that's how your plug talk. Nigga, stay your ass on the ground. That's so fucked up, dude. Jay got robbed. Got this is a true story, boy. Yeah. LA. Yeah. Oh. No, yeah, I, I read it. I, I read it. No, it was. It was. I just news. saw a, um, a little thing on. It. I don't know, man. I think that's fucked up, though. Yeah. I don't really respect them niggas who do that. Stop. Leave people the fuck alone, man. People work man, hard for their shit. Thing. Yeah. And, these, and it, these rap niggas, they gotta get. Stop saying I don't need no security. You keep getting robbed. You need some security sooner or later, nigga. You gotta make some decisions. Well, you know what, man. At the well, same I time, I think run. some of these rap niggas gotta stop. Telling their location and putting this shit up and putting their money up and riding with the jury and riding with the guy. Stop telling motherfuckers how much they spent and what they keep on them. Right, just relax and make your money. Take care of your family. Man, chill, shit brother. Shut your ass up. Like I'm just riding around with sixty thousand dollars. It's for nothing. Like, come on. What the fuck are we buying today? It's a nigga who been applying for jobs all week. What who are looking we at you today? like, nigga? My robbing skills is active. Yeah, nigga. Mm -hmm. Huh? I think that shit fucked up, man. Shit, my Grand Theft Auto button is on. <laughs> I don't have no desire to be in the street life. Them niggas can have that shit. Them niggas be getting in a lot of shit, man. man. Uh uh. And why they is do. it that in the in the we got the only genre of music that motherfuckers die? The only genre. I think I'm an asshole now, though. I mean, I just be seeing how people be getting caught with shit. Like, oh, drug dealer arrested. Caught with fifty thousand in cash. I'm like this nigga was out here. He could have got a job for that shit. <laughs> you mean to tell me you selling dope and only making median income? Nigga, you could go to the warehouse right down Fulton Industrial and hit fifty two. <laughs> fifty two. Can you drive me? You can go to Biloxi. You can go to Biloxi and get ten thousand. <laughs> <laughs> you can you 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 play the scratch offs and hit fifty thousand. Well, the streets yeah. ain't worth it, man. No, what if no. what if jobs start paying better than the streets? Everybody be everybody be <laughs> off the street. No, the fuck they would. Shitting me, I would. It's a nigga. I who, could sell it. It's dope. a nigga who would give his right arm to make thirty thousand dollars selling man, dope. Man, you remember how niggas used to be down at the underground selling weed? Like, Hell yeah. I now it's like, it. what are you niggas making now? I don't know. They got to sell weed but and something else. It, it, yeah. it, it was on the design for a minute. Yeah, you got to get the fuck out of nah, there. No, they shit. still down there, though. I believe. I ain't been down there in years. I'm going to go time. down. What's down there? I'm going to tell you who Well, I went running. down there, you know, uh, when the, they had the Super Bowl, the Super Bowl. To the QC party? Yeah. I went to that. Them cats who doing all the parking attendance, them niggas making the money. Oh, yeah, that's where the money yeah, they I don't like paying the park, man, because these parking either. spaces really ain't big enough for the shit I be driving. You pay more to park than to get in where you're going. I don't yeah. really, I try to avoid all this type of shit. Yeah. Paying That's the smart. park and shit. Me too. Cause and I if, I do pay, if I do pay the park, I'm going to make sure it's, it's going to be worth it. Cause Let me I tell you who this no podcast problem. is for, because a lot of people have seen me forget. I hope they ain't forget. Yeah, man. <laughs> Refresh their motherfucking memory. This podcast right here was for niggas who done been through so much street shit, they can't even sleep all night. Niggas just sleep light real quick. 
Yeah, just jump up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look around. And for all the niggas who've been locked up for a long time, they wake up early. Mm. Put their whole outfit on. Mm-hmm. Just to sit in the house. It's for motherfuckers who start arguments thinking they right, but be dead ass wrong. And then when you realize it, you still ain't gonna apologize. <laughs> right. <laughs> And say you swear to God. Exactly. Man, you know what? This podcast is for God. the niggas that take their old lady to the paint and sip <laughs> and bring their own Jack Daggers. Come on, man. <laughs> They're like, I ain't fucking with that wine shit. Make you my hair. this podcast is for, my nigga? <laughs> it's for all them cool ass people who let a motherfucker ride to work with them. Because <laughs> without them, they don't have no job, nigga. Right. You really doing a motherfucking service, my nigga. You ever be, you ever get cool with the motherfucker you gave a ride to work to? Never. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah. Cool. Oh yeah. That nigga right there always the one that got a blunt rolled up. Mm-hmm. But that motherfucker changed when he get his own car. Yeah. Oh yeah. He don't even know you. He don't even know Nav no more. <laughs> who is Nav? What's up, bro? You all right? Oh, what's up, man? You know who this podcast for? For all the women who saved up to get body surgery, but once you realize how much money you had, you like fuck that shit. Mm. Let them titties hang. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This podcast right here is for that dope ass chick that you see every morning at Chick Fil A, and she start giving you an extra Polynesian sauce. Ooh. She just drop one in there because she know you. <laughs> I thought you was this, this about to say the this for all the fine <laughs> chicks who still work at fast food restaurants. Oh, yeah. big shout out to them. Yeah, mm-hmm. some cute ones. Man, Los, I got a few that I know I'm gonna save when I get the bag. Yeah. For real? I'm just gonna push up, baby, clock out. I'm so, bruh. You don't this need this Chinese you. shit. This you don't need this goddamn Chinese you? restaurant. No I more Popeyes for you. Come on. Come on. Yeah. You ever seen a bitch so fine? You wanna buy something? <laughs> mm. Anything. Like so, what? Any goddamn. <laughs> whatever this bitch say. <laughs> Anything. <laughs> Man, whatever this bitch, this bitch so fine. I'm looking at it like I knew them savings was gonna come in handy. Mm. <laughs> you say you need some new tires? Come on. I'm about to buy this bitch a whole car. Mm. <laughs> you gonna buy the tires. You th- I'm not about to put that. You, you I'm about to put some you, new shit on You gotta do bitch. something for her. Oh, I, I ain't say there was gonna be some new tires, Lo. Oh. No, they were gonna be used. Oh, you, <laughs> and, yeah. you ain't gonna never have shit. <laughs> yeah, I see that. <laughs> I don't accept that. I don't fuck with that concept. Who the fuck uses a tie and be like, you know what? I'm straight on these. Yeah. Nah, fuck that. I'm the Patch King. I this, patched uh, a patch. This podcast right here is for, for the fine ass chicks. And when you get in their car, their car be a little bit nasty. A little bit. Cause she really, she don't really like the car, and she really ain't a clean bitch anyway. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but her house a little nasty too. Yeah. And you just tolerate it, cause that's how fine cause she, she is. Cause she's fine. And she Damn. got a, and she got a hundred forty-one thousand. She ain't shit. She ain't shit. <laughs> shit. This podcast is for the the person sitting there, keep refreshing that IRS to go out. Seeing if they hit step two yet. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming. Have faith. Mm-hmm. Shout out to everybody who got broke up with. Took that shit the wrong way. Acted a goddamn fool after you got dumped. That's why they quit fucking with your stupid ass. Right on time. Right on time. <laughs> Take that. This for this podcast right here is for all the vegans <laughs> that uh, <laughs> go eat nothing but black beans all black history. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> That's funny. You can meme that shit. That's a good ass meme. <laughs> that's, a, that's, that's, what this, that's what this podcast is. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Then you know what? I'll tell you what else this podcast You don't know who it's for. This podcast for all the cute-ass girls out here, too, that work at the bar, and they screen crack, and they're cutting their finger every time they do it, so they got to start doing it with their knuckle. Ooh, I ain't know that what they was doing. Yes, sir. You know who this podcast is not for? 
All them chicks who got a premium Snapchat. Mm. How you gonna watch my shit for free and then try to charge me? Wow. Selfish. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's for all the old niggas. Got come been on. down with they sad bitch for 20 years. Mm. Been with your wife for seven though. <laughs> that's that that's who this right black up. history. This right. that's, that's that's her grandkids call you granddaddy. Come on, man. They, mm. You the only nigga they know. But you got a whole nother family. I don't want <laughs> I don't want nobody to feel left out. So I gotta go through a it's a look. This right here for all yeah. my niggas who work at the airport. Mm -hmm. All my niggas who work at them restaurants at them airports, uh, Atlanta, Chicago, all the airports, all the, black, Houston, them. all the black folks that work at the airport who be watching this shit, who be asking me about the 85 South show early in the morning, and, you know, coming through them terminals and shit like that. To all my niggas, even the niggas who be cleaning up and shit, they be listening to the shit in there. I'm watching the nigga put the paper towels up, watching the goddamn Houston show. I ain't say shit. I just, you know, wash my hands because that's what I do. Yeah. You know, clean hands. That's it. That's Go a long you, way. That's got you keep your dick clean. You wash your hands, then you won't be touching your dick with dirty hands. You won't have dirty dick or dirty hands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just like that. I wash my hands before I pee. How you going? Sheesh. <laughs> Come on, bro. I'm telling you. Why would I put my dirty hands on my clean dick? I took a shower before I got here. Right. <laughs> you got to make shit make sense. All the time. Yeah. Mm hmm That shit funky, J.O.E. Mm -hmm. he, he keeps some funky shit going on. That's some, this that's podcast some shit that right you here. goddamn freestyle on, Lo. Yeah, that, that, that's freestyle all day. Yeah, that, that's your type of shit. That I right there. I think you getting soft on me, man. Man, you crazy as fuck. Oh, okay. <laughs> See, I'm the type of nigga who be talking that shit. I jumped up on the beat so I can grab a new chick. She said she tired of her old man and wants some new dick. So let me spit some game to her really right quick. Hello, my name is Carlos, and your ass is so fat and it wiggle like jello. I said hello. My name is Kylo. Can I come to your crib and spend some money? Just hollow. She said no. Don't buy me nothing because if you just buy me something, you might be expecting something. I'm like, no, I see you living on this section eight. I'm trying to move you somewhere so your life can be great and move your kids about the hood so they can go to a better school. She like, that's cool. But anyway, what's up with you? I'm like, really? I'm just at the crib chilling. Do you want to come and have some dinner like oh, Thanksgiving turkey yes. wings? Mm. And you know I brought the dressing, so she came through with a dress, and then she really started undressing. Uh. Never made it to the food. Not being rude, but I'm that dude that uh wanted she to pull them out and let me see over them boobs. And then oh. she hit them in my face. I laid my nose up on her chest because that's what I'm doing, and I'm so good at it that I'm the best. Mm. Take a breath. Mm. Catch yourself. Cause right. you ain't fucking with me, dog, because I'm hot to death. No. <laughs> I'm hot to life. I might have to say that twice, cause every nigga who speak about death never have a long life. Mm. Ooh, I'm cool with it. I'm Let cool with breathe. it. Shoulda graduated from high school with it, went to college. But then I started getting knowledge and then the world started putting up all these dollars in my pocket. It changed my attitude. Oh. And couldn't nobody tell me nothing. They was like, you ain't gonna be shit. But I done made me something oh. about myself. Did it by myself. I'm by myself. Every time you see me, don't try me because I will ride by myself. Smoking and drinking. I give a fuck about what they saying because they be talking and thinking that I ain't listening. Mm. But I heard what you said, and I say that shit to my face, pussy. Oh, now you acting scared. <laughs> hey, you heard what he said. I don't said. need a nigga doing me. Uh. Do yourself, because that's what the people want to see. Mm. Now, if you out here doing me, well, hell, who going to do you? Mm. And now you fucking up how I do me, you stupid dude. Mm. I seen a nigga doing my joke and left the part off, and that's my favorite part. And now he fucked it off, and then I'm like, damn, how you going to do half of the joke? You should have did the whole thing. Nigga, you cheating these folks. If you won't take my shit, take the whole damn thing. Don't take the part that you like, cause that's so goddamn lame. And mm. that's for you, boy. I know you watching the show. That's how it go. Don't ever try to be low, nigga. You already know that I seen what you did when you did and who you did it with. But I ain't gonna 
say nothing, that's some petty shit. Oh. And they ain't petty no more. But they should have caught me around like 2004. That ain't the low you want to know because that nigga was crazy kicking in the door with pistols on me. Don't mm. say the rest. Because I told Nap not to. But Man, I'm, I'm the sorry. type of dude that be kicking me like Kung Fu. And I told you earlier I don't eat no noodles. Be feeling no white girls with asses flatter than poodles. Mm. Shit. Just cause I can. If they hit me, I'ma hit them back. You understand? Damn. I know my raps be fat because my nigga listen to the words is making them crack. Damn. Mm. And he the motherfucking shift leader. The 85 South Show. Carlos, I'm the shift leader. Mm. You see, my crew ain't even in here, but my niggas been holding it down over here since last year, or maybe the year before. Shit, I don't know if he nab on that side and my nigga Mario. And every time I call him and be like, nigga, come to the studio, they say, shit, say no more. We about to pull up on you, low. Mm. Damn. I'm gonna go and pick it up. Go ahead. I just want to apologize. I had to let you get, let you you get that off your never, chest. You should have never said Man, that I, shit. I, and and I, 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 when I said it, I just wanted to hear you rap, but I didn't think you would Why you do just ain't say that then? Yeah. Because you made it sound like I had fell off. Like you fell off. I'm getting greater. <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. All that, that shit I said, the way I said it, and how I said it, I meant every motherfucking word. Mm hmm. Every goddamn last one. Somebody gonna think this shit was real. I don't give a good goddamn what these people think no more. They don't think. They can't think. They that. can't think. Bro, they can't think. Bro, I, I ain't want to cry on live podcast. <laughs> yeah, 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 that touched your soul. That's why I said he had to get that out. Come on, man. I know you're a killer. He had to get that out. Shit, you ain't no emotional nigga, bro. You just oh, man. What a, uh, man. But now, when you what said, a, what, what a restaurant? Take the I'm microphone finna, off if you got it. I'm finna do it right now, go ahead, and then I'm finna come back and come we finna, back. we gonna hit one, cause I'ma get one. It's my time to spit one. Now I get one. I don't even unplug this. Yeah, this yeah, go. Just unplug it, bro. <laughs> come on, man. Ow. That bitch was acting selfish with the hey, vagina. <clears throat> Don't be, I said, don't be too selfish. Don't be too selfish with the vagina because it's only one vagina in the household. So share it with me. You got the A in the, and I need the V. So bring some to your boy. Let your boy get some. You got a whole bunch of this shit. Why I can't have none? Oh, so you gonna be stingy. We started out cool and everybody was friendly, but now, no, you wanna act strange because the nigga came up and got that change. Give me some brains. <clears throat> or maybe no. I gave her a second just to think about it, bro, cause you never really know how a hoe might feel if you feel in on the grill of the wheel while you riding, suck my meat up while I'm driving. That's enough. I can do it. Okay. I ain't gonna ask you to rap. No Don't do that. Come on, man. You just gonna Don't do, do that. this shit on your own from now on. Hey. I had your girl at my house on the couch giving mouth asking me what to do and will I pull it out if I bust she don't trust uh -huh. that I will so I chill okay. one more time on the wheel if she asks how I feel grip the wheel while I'm rolling and I'm hoping that I'm scoping pulling holes in every time I rip them in just like a roping cowboy shit that I be taking every time I do. Ask me what I'm on my coming through and I'm gonna say cool. If she want to come and see me, she can do that all the time. Spit the flow up off the head and watch me kick a goofy ramp. Rolling weed and smoking weed with all my peas, that's what I do. Catch me on the 85 South Show on YouTube. Dropping every Friday, this the coldest podcast. All the women liking this. Big titties, lots of ass. Cold niggas, old niggas. Young niggas, throat niggas. Even got the dope dealers hanging with the coke dealers. Mm. Shit, I might just start selling pills. Got all these followers want to see how well the broke game is, the dope game is, the throat game is. She said she want to throw me up. Hold up. 85 South Show, ain't nobody fucking with us. The coldest podcast that you didn't ever fucking seen up on your TV screen or maybe your computer screen or maybe your phone. Or whatever you watch it on, it's the 85 South Show. We rapping too long. We do too many songs. <laughs> or they talk about pussy. Don't worry about we be doing. What the fuck is you doing, pussy? So where your show at? 
So I can watch it in the comments and say that I don't like this and damn there was some dumb shit. Yeah. Now how the fuck would you like that? You talking all your comments, you don't think I'm a type back? Come on, bruh. Your address in your bio. I pull up on you. Now you need a bio for your bio that you had while you was alive because you ain't no more. <laughs> and I'm gonna be smiling in my jail photo. I'm gonna put you in because a nigga hey, man. the fucking stop. bag. He been talking shit stop, too stop, much. Man. Fuck that nigga. I'm gonna let that ride. I ain't gonna let that slide. Fuck that pussy ass nigga. He ain't no I'm Carlos Miller. I came from a long line. I ain't a goddamn killer. My uncle was a killer. His uncle was a killer. My grandfather a killer. So somebody killed him because they was killers. And I'm a killer. Fuck these hoes. And all these broke ass niggas who be talking shit saying I don't like your pants. Well, nigga, you can suck a dick. That's why you always worried about the shit that Carlos Miller doing. Oh. You pussy ass hoes. That's why your pussy is ruined. Oh, you done fucked too many niggas and took too many pills. You a drug addict, bitch. Big titty, nigga, titty, long titty, lips. Ooh, that's a long titty. You can, you can fuck up and, and still long, be cold. I can still be fuck cold. up and still be cold. I still be cold. That's enough. Oh my God. I should have been a rapper. I should have got in the music you game. You are a rapper. I should have been in the music game. Man, I'm telling you, rap game, man, is all you got to do is be intellectual. I'm going to the studio. Why, fuck why this shit. You, that's somebody's favorite rap? shit right now. I'm going to tell you something. Be intellectual. Be intellectual. Intellectual. Come on, man. All right, let me let me let me hit a little. Let me hit a little. Well, bit. Let me hit a little. 1492. Bit. Let me hit a little. Christopher Columbus. He came to America on the ocean blue. Mm. He bought some niggas too, mm. because the niggas on the boat they had to tell him what to do, and one was driving. Mm. And another one had a map, and another one was rolling weed in a big ass leaf flap. Mm. And the other one was downstairs cooking, and the other one was mopping, and seeing who was looking, and the other one was up there with that long thing on his eye. And there was another one who had a gun just in case somebody wanted to ride. It was another one and another one, and another one and another one, and another one and another one, and another one and another one. Whole bunch of niggas, like three or four white folks. They put the white folks on like two or three different boats so they can look like they running shit. You know how they act, bro. Mm -hmm. It was one ship with one white dude and a whole lot of black folks, Man, but they let me was tell in you the back though. About, uh, a black history. These white folks try to hide that shit in books like it's a mystery. Come on. Oh shit. I could this shit be real clear to me. We ain't had no motherfucking Christians in back in history. We was doing the shit, huh? Real king style, in the jungle, eating the shit, doing things, running wild, but naked, titties everywhere, areola showing. Niggas come on, man. Big as these booties, them hoes be knowing. Come on. That shit come from your ancestors. Big ass. But ancestors. now you sitting your motherfucking ass up on the chest of dresser. On the chest of dresser? And the dirt ass saint. Come on. You supposed to be a queen, but what the hell you think? See, huh? every time they bring up. Martin Luther King don't mm. tell you about the gangster shit. It's always I have a dream. See, mm. at the end, the part that they don't be telling to y'all, Martin Luther King was like, integration? I'm like, no, really? He was like, no, let's get some money. At first, it was kind of fucked up, but it ain't funny how they be doing. Shit, let's boycott everything. I put that on my mama. If y'all going to ride it, do the damn thing. And they was like, hold on. You about to fuck with the money. She's gonna fuck with the money. I mean, we gotta do something, unless she's gonna fuck up our money. Let's do something, cause we got the money. See, that's the part they'll never be putting off in the book. Mm. And when he got shot, they be like, over there, nigga, look. Mm. But, see, them niggas already knew what was going down. That's why everybody was standing around and then nobody dug down. Mm, man, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you about this. Separation is a bitch. We should have stayed lit. We you mean segregation? Drunk. We should have did our thing. We should have listened to Malcolm X. We should have took off the chains. No, don't say that. Not up on YouTube. Because that's the type of back. shit that'll make YouTube flag you. Because we don't promote no hate speech. Hey. <laughs> I'm just telling you how it is from what Ray D. Because our ancestors went through some shit, some ass whooping. Raping the shit and our babies was damn it took. What the fuck is uh, wrong with you? You saying all the wrong shit now. Uh, hey, J-O-N, do me a favor, bro. Just slow that shit down. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to another rendition of 85 South. I don't know man, what the man. fuck Mario Torre got We in here. We in That in was it. a very aggressive stance that he just took. Um, it was like David Banner on beach. Yeah, he, he, <laughs> was, on, he on, went crazy. I wasn't like the dude on Fry. Yeah, with man, jet, you, with you had a lot on your mind. I didn't know it was about to get dark. Came out of everywhere. Yeah, it did. I mean, it's black fine. history. Yeah, black, black history. Black history month.
What's some of your favorite moments in black history? Man, actually, man, just, you know, I was a sports guy, too. So, like, Bo Jackson, Dion. I was man, I was blown away with the Dion. Yeah. Uh, 30 for 30. 30. 30. Yeah. That shit, yeah, yeah. Man, them cats is dope, man. Herschel Walker. Even OJ, man, was a dope-ass fucking running back, man. Yeah. Just, you know, they can never us. take that away from OJ. Never take no. that away from OJ. Yeah. Some of my favorite. I'm, uh, I like when Allen Harrison got his hair braided on the bench. That was mm, a that was great, dope. like, history moment. Um, when the, when the Pacers in the... Pistons got to fight. That was mm -hmm. a black history, my favorite black history moment in sport. Uh, uh, um, Gabby Douglas, you know, that made history in yeah. our time. Yeah, so I was I proud to see that. I like when LeBron that. James Simone when he told his mama sit her ass down. That's black yeah, history. That was black history, yeah, yeah. fuck. That was black history. Yeah. That was black history. Definitely some black history right there. Um, Chef Jannard won the damn cooking challenge. Black guy from Atlanta. Come on, bro. So like Usain history. Bolt broke the world record, wasn't even tied. Serena Williams, you hear me? Yeah. Shout out to Venus, too. Mm -hmm. Venus. Just cause. Yeah, just, just cause. cause they're sisters. Yeah, they're sisters. Just cause. That's black history right there. Killer Mike make a dope ass Netflix. Hell yeah. 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 Right That's, but like Trigger you said, one. black history, though, that just for them being sisters. Yeah. And winning all their money with these in there. Who would ever thunk it? Mm. With Serena Edge and moving in that skirt. Here you go. See? I don't even like to talk about it no more. She but it's moved on to the white man. She yeah. gone, bro. <laughs> bro, she gone. Yeah. Serena, Jamaica Williams. Jamaica? Jamaica. Who mm. Venus fuck with? Um, white man, too. Probably got a whole uh, blood. No, song. don't tell me that. Yeah, man. Yeah. I don't know. They're around, I don't they're around a different caliber of people. Yeah. It's sad to lose them like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like, they, I, I don't know. Mm. I don't know what we're going to do. We well, gotta, you know the thing about it is, shit, what can you do? Nothing. You fuck with only the caliber of people that what do, what, you, what you fuck with. I thought Venus was fucking with Chingy. You remember? Shut the fuck up. Uh, well, stop making up shit, bro. It was on the shade. <laughs> Stay I, off I, that I shit, can, shit bro. I can see that. I told you to stop reading that shit. <laughs> I can see that happening. <laughs> <laughs> you just making you up shit, shit bro. <laughs> you might have just read them back to back. I don't think that was. <laughs> <laughs> you might have read Serena yeah, Williams read that doing together, the Chingy. <laughs> she was doing the, she was doing the no, after, after the uh, nah, I, don't, I don't know nothing about that. Now I'm be starting shit on the show, bro. Yeah, delete that part. No, <laughs> <laughs> that shit get on the internet, bro. Niggas get the so Serena Williams and that ticket. What? Lord forbid they didn't ever took a picture somewhere. Oh Lord. <laughs> Breaking news on the 85 South show. Stop making up <laughs> shit. This just in. Serena Williams. You could Google you could Google pics of Chingy and uh, Venus Williams. Oh man, I just found out one of my favorite women is married to a white man. Who? Oh stop, Viola man. Viola Davis. Who? Viola Davis. The lady from uh, How to Get Away with Murder. The Same old, one from Fences with yeah. Denzel Washington. Yeah, one of my favorite. She is not married to no white man. Yes, yes, she is. Man, stop telling me bad news. I'm baby. sorry. Charles Gambino is married to a white woman too. His name Childish. He should, yeah, he's good. <laughs> he ain't got shit to do with his name, man. Yeah, I'm just saying. What? Damn, Viola you Davis. You say that shit now, but when we gonna look up in 30 years, ain't nobody gonna be black no more. You know how we be saying, damn, like to the, for the women that be married to, like, damn, they married to the white man. I wanna do some of the white women be like, damn, damn he married, married to a black girl. girl. <laughs> 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 Only we <William laughs> some shit. Like God damn. damn it. We lose all damn. our white men to them bitches. God damn. We gonna look they around. Probably they probably got a name for it that you'll never figure out. Well, looks like another race car driver's in here. What the fuck is that? <laughs> He's black and white. The race car, black and white flag. You don't get it? You don't get it. Uh, oh, man. They got a referee in yeah. here. This, oh, he's a zebra. Uh, oh, he's a zebra. Oh, oh, he's a zebra. Oh, oh. Zebra cake. <laughs> he's a step and repeat. Step and repeat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they probably got a stupid ass name yeah, for it, though. Man. like that. Covert racism. Man. <laughs> Fuck that. But Black History Month should be every month. It is. What should we do different in Black History Month that we ain't doing? I feel like we should be blacker. I feel like everything that they thought we was doing, we should turn it up on their ass. Because that's why everybody making fun, fun of us. Black face and shit. Nigga, we ought to really oh give them some God. shit to, we to ought really, to really do it. like, but we should do it with so much class. class. And we should really just make them, like, we should make them just kiss our ass. 
We should be turned up, bro. We should be having. We should be doing something during Man, all month. Be should be some, something well, popping. And then just you know how they have just something. To, just all to be I, I blame B. I feel like we should just be trivial. We should just be barbecuing twenty four hours of all that stereotypical shit right. they think we gonna be doing. Just niggas just riding around all hours Music of the night. Music loud. Loud. Chilling. Two, three in the morning. Just shivers everywhere. All Dogs. That, all that Taco Nigga, Bell. Instead of marching, <laughs> instead of marching, just a long line of shivers riding through the city. Just riding everywhere. all through the suburbs. They ain't even got no police to pull all us over. Yeah. Right. We just all up in the suburbs. Just listening to plies and Throwing shit. Throwing trash out the window. Loud. 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 Shit. No. Dumping gut, b- blunt guts all on. Dumping blunts everywhere. Man, pulling up. What are we doing? Buying, making motherfucking checkers run out like, of their ice I cream. I feel like that's the, that should be the one month we save all our black shit and just do it all at once. Like niggas don't buy no rims until February. Like we, that should just be our month to just I'm show buy our through ass. all black people. We should buy all new cars all month. Just all February, nigga. Just that's bought, why we get our income tax. Just stack in up, just stack up it's all for the month. other eleven months and find all the black-owned business and just, and just buy, buy all that shit, shit from each other. Yeah, find the nigga. That shit'll be cold. You on the sun? That'll be cold. Black yeah. History Month. We ought to really make Black History. Black, black history. people have spent a record one hundred and ninety million dollars in the with black it, community with, it, with each we other we don't know what we're gonna do with these balling ass negroes <laughs> we haven't even seen them <laughs> we don't know where they are where are the black people they haven't even been on instagram when you love to turn on 60 minutes and they just panicking black people are leaving new york city in record numbers we don't know what we're gonna do we don't have enough city workers there are not enough people to drive the trains we don't know our economy is collapsing please come back save up all your vacation Nigga, days and spend them all february 28 if, days if every what? person in every job everywhere at, at during february just just Quit. What if niggas stop going to Companies prison? Companies would fail. What dude. if wasn't no more black on black crime? What if no, no. What if all the OG niggas were like, you mad at that nigga? That's Reggie nephew. Reggie, bring your nephew down here. These niggas want to goddamn fight and kill each other. Let them kill each other, goddamn it. Ain't going to be in the street. Ain't no police. You, y'all fight till you get. Now hug. Yeah. Y'all don't want to kill each other. Shut the fuck up. Go on about the minute now. Come on, man. Yeah. Too easy. Come on. That's what used to happen back in the day. You used to fight it out, play basketball. But it's going to be niggas who out there like Floyd Mayweather going to go tell the white people on the news. You don't know where the niggas at. They down there. Oh, fighting. they down there in Florida. They Send went me to a Jack. Send me a Jack. Why you don't mind me the nigga off of Harlem Nights, the boxer, like, he just like, oh, Floyd Mayweather? Hey, fucking dummy, man. Damn. I feel like. Man, that's Samuel Jackson on Django, man. He, he one of them. Nah, I think mm-hmm. he's yeah, a little Floyd worse don't give that. a fuck about nobody but Floyd, Floyd Mayweather. Floyd don't give a fuck. Yeah. He seen somebody post that shit. Hey, <laughs> shout out to that nigga, Geronte. Who is Geronte? Geronte. Who is that? Ain't that how you say his name? Javante Davis. Oh, yeah. I, I put an R instead Javon- of the V. Yeah, you, you, was a, you was a cold nigga, bro. Hey, but he, a, no, he a cold nigga. Somebody gonna hear that name. He knocked the nigga out after the fact. The nigga thought he was about to come back to fight him. Like, no, nah, nigga, my nah, shit ain't working. That nigga, that nigga took a knee in the ring. Yeah, exactly. He tried to act like he wanted some more, but his body was but like, he a no. real one. That, that what made me change from talking about Floyd to him. Like, we got us a real. I like how you brought that in. Yeah. Mm. Like, yeah. Just we just gonna have to erase certain negativity out of. Language. Yeah, man, Floyd, he gone. He, he gone. He gone. Ain't no saving him. It ain't. I, you can't look to him for nothing outside of boxing. More, uh, being extravagant. Him and his boxing. Yeah. yeah. His yeah. boxing and buying all the shit that I can buy. Yeah, he gonna regret that shit one day because he cut us off. He really walking his this, way. This is not of, his first time though. It's not, but that's what I'm and, saying. And, and, and see, the, and the, and that's okay. It's I'm sorry. Be sad. And that's just like how, like Jay Z, like you said, the modern day Frederick Douglass. Exactly. He has the same amount of power exactly. right now. He has even more because he has he has access to Billions. his money right then. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. He must. He could be a walk. He can be a walking yeah. Moses. Man. Yeah, man. He got all this money. He ain't pulled them niggas to the side. I'm like, nigga, let's get our own shit. The black yeah. ass boxing association. Let's buy. Let's buy a whole city. Right. Shit. Let's buy a city and get a boxing, a gym, a training facility. You can buy all that shit. shit like, but, D, like, but, D, like D, D. This the thing though. This shit sound easy when it ain't your money. True. It's easy to but say. But this motherfucker buys a watch. That's worth 18 million or one point something. Yeah. See, this just nigga. If the motherfucker who's selling eighteen million dollar watches, and you find a motherfucker who gonna buy it, you ain't gonna make him pay for it. 
True. Come on, man. Shit. Who's the fuck I can, to say? Who's I can say, look at this right now. That's why I don't like the internet. Who's the fuck to say that the shit costs that much? A nigga right. might have saw that bitch and was like, nigga, I saw Mario Torre with a twenty million dollar watcher. Who's the fuck to say that? that shit, How they verify that? Shit, probably thirty five hundred. Yeah, all the shit you've never seen on that shit the was online. You ain't seen the goddamn uh, receipt or the tag on it. Yeah. Every day they come out and say, oh, this new rapper just spent three hundred thousand on the chain. Who gives a fuck? Who's to say that? That yeah. jeweler might have made that chain for how do you four thousand dollars and said, "Post me on your Instagram, million. and we are fine." Man, fuck how do you people. price eighteen and how do you, million? And what, and what made you I, listen? I don't know. I'm gonna tell you something. I don't believe none. All I'm saying is, you can believe that shit if you want to. I don't believe it. I don't believe it either. I don't think a nigga worked his ass up to spend no goddamn eighteen million dollars on no shit like Ask that. Ask him, Lopes. Huh? Ask him. What the fuck they sell him at? Who you gotta it's, know? It's who one you, of one. Who you got to know that's going to sell you some $18 million And how shit? much do this motherfucker got? Man. If right. he can sell it for $18 million. And if million, he made an $18 you, million dollar watch, how much? As, they not about to let no goddamn black man spend no $18 million, nothing at nowhere at one at time. At one time? Niggas show up and try to spend $18 million on a watch and whoop, watch whoop, 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 Feds, whoop, everybody. Whoop. Motherfucker coming off them ropes. Get on the motherfucking floor. Get on the motherfucking floor. Yeah. When's your birthday? Nigga, <laughs> 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 ice. <laughs> What's your mother's maiden name? Your name Floyd? Mm-mm. Fuck the dope. Yeah. Nah, man. Don't believe that shit. Don't. I don't know. I don't even. I'm not hustling for no shit like that. Nah. No. Fuck no. You know how long it take to make millions, nigga? You gonna buy a fucking goofy ass watch? Uh, to tell the same amount of time as you could no. with a goddamn Casio? No. Hell no. Fuck no. Not doing that shit no more. No. Time ain't even nothing. I like how everybody ain't rich like that though. Cause it make you appreciate that type of shit. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you get some money, it's nice to go out and buy you some nice shit. But nigga, you don't gotta be competing with motherfuckers who already been rich and richer than you. And then what the fuck, is, even if somebody look at your watch and say, oh damn, that shit dope as fuck. Nigga, they gonna go home and go to sleep. They ain't right. nobody gonna be thinking about your ass. That's the best thing about seeing people with money, my nigga. Like people who have real money or a lot of money. This shit that they'll spend a lot of money on, people be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? That's a white man somewhere who spent $6 million to have a fucking dinosaur bone on his coffee table. What? Yeah, it's, they do shit like that. You will never see this grass anywhere it's in the real world. Real fucking pterodactyl skull. It's real. It's, they breathe two million dollars. Man, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, three hundred thousand. You can bring some pigs. Grass. You know one thing I'm mad about though from the whole rap game entertainment industry on the black side. What's that? Niggas that started all these record labels don't nobody have no building. What a building that? Mm -hmm. You ain't yeah. never rolled by none of these record labels, nigga. That's true. Except QC. Where the fuck is the cash money building? All the records we done bought, we deserve to ride by something and see a cash money in New Orleans. on the side of that bitch. Or at least have like a, a, Damn, a, a place where never had a building. Like where you can visit that shit like Motown or something. Nigga, that's what like I'm the saying. Like I'm wanna, they shit. never took a picture in front of a building that no. You ever seen them in the studio? <laughs> I seen Lil Wayne record an album in a hotel room. He not saying that they didn't have one. I'm just saying, where's the buildings yeah. for all this shit? These niggas you don't lose no building. No, I want the buildings. I want to see the buildings. Yeah. Or unless they just got them all in their house. You know, a lot of cats be buying houses. Yeah, but then a lot of them being like suites and shit in office buildings or whatever. Yeah, but that's yeah. bullshit. I want to see where the buildings at that's owned by black building. folks. All this fucking money. Yeah. Well, that's the same thing about comics. We don't have no black owned comedy clubs, except for Jack One. Well, it's probably more than one. More, I mean, comic-wise, like a, ri a rich comic. It ain't that many. Because I think because comics hate comedy clubs. I mean, you can't why, If you one, were a comedian, why the fuck would you want to own a comedy club? You want to own a comedy club? I would. Hell yeah. If I had enough bread. I, mean, I don't know. I'd probably I would own. open a dope-ass comedy club. I ain't on your ever. list of shit to do, though. But I'm just saying, like, if you open it in your city, you ain't necessarily got to be there. If you want to do some guest appearance shit, but you got motherfuckers, you, you got access to comics, you can book that shit for the year. Mm. You know what I mean? Because mm. now it's more on the business side, you really. Yeah, I would do it. I, would, I, I think that shit would really work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Do, do your city got one? Nope. Think about it. I know the niggas in my city. They're going to go one time and then I'm going to close that bitch. Once everybody go once, it's over. They're not going to keep coming. They're going to take one picture. Man, y'all having another goddamn show? 
Man, we not finna be in this motherfucker every weekend. Twenty dollars <laughs> again? My city too small. It's two items minimum. It's just like shit. Shit. motherfuckers over and See, over again. Country folks ain't paying well, now, two tell items. Well, I tell might be a little, mm. little bigger. I don't have to pay the game. And then they gonna go and complain items. like, why y'all don't bring uh Carlo down? Carl, shit. Whoever. And then it's like, cause you ain't gonna pay for that shit. No. Oh, a motherfucker gonna flip out yeah, when they try to the sneak their bottle that... in the comedy club and they stop. Think I'm about to dope. argue for a nigga who won't pay twenty dollars for a what drink and some wing, this? man. This right. my nephew shit. What the fuck you mean I can't bring oh, my bottle? Yeah, yeah. Two item minimum. Ooh, y'all some mail with y'all stuff, man. <laughs> yeah. so, they out of that brought that city stuff down man, here. Two man. two item a piece. Man, you might. So well. I gotta buy two items for me and, and my, my wife, lady, man. When we together. <laughs> So I'm gonna order something, she gonna order something. That's two right there. Oh, now it's two a piece. That you mean to tell me, if I order something, she order something. That ain't two. Man, that goddamn bill was sixty something dollars, man. Motherfucker dang, man. Bro, Law, I'm glad you didn't come. God damn. Man, that shit high. We had a nice time, and that shit high. I ain't going back, I tell you that. Man, that shit. I don't Five give a damn. Dollars I don't give a damn who they have there. They can bring Red Fox back to that motherfucker. I ain't going. Hey, the last six that all they'll ever get from me. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Bro, them niggas say that shit quick. Never again. <laughs> seven dollars for a Bud Light. Seven goddamn. I could buy seven Bud Light for seven dollars. Hell. Twelve. Then the motherfucker went in cold. Twelve pack of eleven. The motherfucker went in cold. You can't satisfy these niggas. Man, you can't. Bring me a warm ass beer for you, $7. You can bring him. A, you can bring them a bucket of ice and had a beer in there. The bitch brought the bucket of ice and just had water all on my table. <laughs> <laughs> the bitch ain't putting no napkin down or nothing. God damn. God what damn. we supposed to drown? <laughs> And the, and the bitch, that I argue with the bitch, she done put gratuity on that motherfucker. We ain't order shit about like that. I said thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck wrong with these folk, man. Then these motherfuckers start. The show supposed to start at nine fifteen. They start at nine thirty. <laughs> now they then rushing me. You got to sit down, sir. <laughs> We here. sat down fifteen goddamn then, minutes. Then them niggas wasn't funny worth a damn. <laughs> The first I one. I could have went up there and did that shit. Hell, I could have did that shit. The first one, he wasn't about shit. Then the motherfucker got a nerd to try to sell me a DVD after the show. I don't spend 60. Motherfucker's gonna say something about I my hat. The, I just saw gonna you. talk about my hat. <laughs> I turned that motherfucker out then. I got to arguing with it. I tore his ass up. I tell you, ugly motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, and ask my wife, dinner, baby. Dinner. Yeah, I told him, you all ugly ask, some bitch. You always gotta ask the wife. Oh, man. Dinner, ask my wife. Dinner, baby. Dinner, baby. I almost went on the stage and yanked his I, ass I, off I, that motherfucker. I told him, give me the mic. It wouldn't give me the motherfucker. Why niggas, why old niggas talking, get the movie like, it wouldn't give me the motherfucker. Hell, hell, they always in the, hell, shit. Shit. Bro, I told my wife. Yeah, I'll Run me to the liquor store. Hell. They done paid me, set, charge me seven out of one bill. Run me to the liquor store. Yeah, I drunk the goddamn. Fucking man. surcharge. Mm -hmm. Right. Two item minimum. That what they say on the wall. I would come, but you gonna put me in your little shit. Nah, no, man. man. I ain't gonna try to be on your little spot. shit, man. I ain't trying to be on the spot. No, man. I'm but you know, I, I do that funny shit my damn self. So. I'm who, <laughs> hey, hey. I'm who you need to have on stage with you. I'm a fool. So what I got to do to get started? How do I get on there? Shit, I mean, man, I'm just man, saying, at, man. My, at my cousin, I don't even be, bro, I just. I just do here. that shit. I, I just be saying that shit. shit. That shit come on the top. <laughs> but I just never did that coming shit because I was so caught up in the Hey, street. let me ask you this. How much y'all be making, man? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> so I just come down there and I just. If I want to start, who I, where you be at? Where you be at? Let me open up for you. Yeah. <laughs> nah, when, nah, for real. Nah, for real. Next time, hey, man, when the next time you doing something? Then, yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm ride. I can ride. I'm gonna yeah. ask my wife. I'm gonna ask my wife. Baby. Shit. 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 You yeah. need your real goon with you anyway. Hey, man, you know me, you, nigga. Hey, when motherfuckers hear the shit I be saying, this shit gonna go. They gonna this be like, damn, go. where you been hiding that nigga at? <laughs> that nigga, hey. Telling you, man, all you gotta do is, hey, all hey. you gotta do is put me on there. I bet, hey, they I, gonna take your shit off to the top Cause too. look, when folks see that you fucking with somebody who real, 
they gonna know you real. <laughs> I, I know a whole bunch of people at work. Yeah. They'll come. Everybody at work fuck with me already. Yeah. <laughs> like that's gonna pack a whole come lot on, of toys. Dude, nigga know six people. Oh. I know everybody. I just be want everybody to do comedy. Uh, anybody who think it's easy, go do it. Man, that, that, now that be the funnest shit. That shit is hilarious, man. Just to watch a motherfucking shit not work. Like, okay, thank you. Told you. Watch that shit not work. That shit is not easy. No. You motherfucker get the fumbling over work. Yeah, man, then I told the bitch. <laughs> That's, that's what they think. When that first it. joke don't work and that damn wall start closing <laughs> in on the motherfucker. Then she be like, God damn, hey, uh, damn, y'all tough out here. Do, 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 do. Nigga, uh, the other <laughs> shit when the nigga recognize he bunk. God damn, y'all don't laugh at shit. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go and get out of here. Nigga, we wouldn't be waiting on your ass. Shit. I'm I get the laugh, get I get the laugh, nigga took all the laughs. Shit. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess y'all want to hear some pussy jokes. Okay? <laughs> so how you know, boy, that one I don't even like doing black crowd. Boy, y'all when, boy, when the niggas, when a nigga bomb and say this at the end, it just totally silly for me, bro. Hey, man, I just came up here to show my nigga Mario some love, <laughs> man. <laughs> ah, that's the, that's the killer right there, ain't it? what about when they say, man, I just wanted to try a few jokes. Right. <laughs> right. Nigga, that's man. the shit you were doing three months ago, two damn. years ago, man, four nigga. years ago. Oh, now this would be funny too. Oh, y'all ain't like that one, man. Fuck y'all, man. Nah, when the nigga say this, you be talking to him after the show. Yeah, that was my new shit. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't ever do that. That shit garbage. If that's your new shit, you need to go back to your old new shit. Yeah. Your old new shit. A nigga bomb came off stage. You know, nigga ain't say nothing. Cause like shit, that's a part of the game. Mm. I reach, you know, just a little doubt. Oh man, I ain't worried about that shit. I didn't ask you. I, I didn't ask you anything, brother. I didn't. I didn't ask you how you felt about shit. I, I just reached my hand out for doubt, like. Right. I seen a nigga bomb so hard at Uptown. Mm. That's the that's the nigga king bomb. bomb so hard for some reason. He told a nigga to bring him back. <laughs> Man, bring me back, man. I do man, that shit again, he's man. Probably the only nigga that you done seen bomb back to back. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck you go back up for? You thought they forgot? <laughs> bring, hey, bring me back, man. I, man, I, I, man, I was off a little bit. Man, I had eight before I got on stage. That's what it was. You know, usually when man, I. Man, how about when a nigga call you to get them a guest spot and they bomb? Right. Psh. Hey, man, see if your man let me go up. Hey, man, take my dog and get up here. He Give him a couple minutes. Give him a couple minutes. He funny. I will say that you good for that. You you about to yeah, go <laughs> Lost this your man? I don't even know that nigga. Bro. <laughs> Cause if, if you bomb, you ain't good no more. You yeah. ain't good. Ain't my nigga but, but no then more. that's your destiny. You gotta, yeah, you gotta take that bomb. We ain't cool till I know you're not gonna bomb. Right. Mm-mm. Taking that bomb is like a fucked up tattoo. You got to cover that shit up man, one day. Man, you got to go. The best thing. Like, I got to see you real. No, the best no, thing, yeah. if you bomb, you got to be funny somewhere else. If it's still a young night, you got to go somewhere at least that same make night. it through your set or something. Today. Man, You're have... not just about to ride around with this explosion on you, though. <laughs> you going to suck. And smell it like smoke? Man, what? You the boof. I had a bad set. Nigga, do you know I stayed in that parking lot and roasted every motherfucker I could find and see? <laughs> Bro, I got I to gotta get a laugh somewhere. No, Fuck y'all. You, you Man, you it. know who is the, the foulest nigga? The nigga Dub. K-Dub, man. Look, I had got them. You didn't bomb in front of K-Dub. No, I didn't bomb, but my, my, la- yeah, my last joke didn't hit. So it come off stage, he was like, yeah, that, you know, that last joke was shit. <laughs> So hey, I start trying to roast up, him. Wait, he said, no, you ain't going to get a laugh from me. And walked no. off. <laughs> but K-Dub the type of nigga. He's telling Mario, he for the next laugh. six years, you see him. Hey, now, that last joke was shit. I don't give a fuck what you say. Hey, you remember, you remember, hey, you remember you was hey, the name? Yeah. You were funny tonight. But I'm telling you now, that last joke, that motherfucker still They probably shit. forgot. They ain't forgot. You remember, hey. you remember, you remember who was at the spot and you did that joke? <laughs> hey, now. That's how, hold, that, hold on, now. Here, here go that last joke you did. <laughs> <laughs> That nigga asshole, man. Shout out and to Kate. This shit be fun as fuck. I just left the nigga. Like, y'all, y'all, y'all had a, a y'all, show. y'all had a good ass little era. 
I, yeah, our era is still going on. No, yeah. I'm saying like uh, the trenches in not, the streets. Yeah, the man, trenches. the comedy game has changed. It wasn't that. That many, shit pussy now though. It wasn't yeah. too many places like we could do. We had to really go where it niggas, was. We at. Come, when we would come around, niggas. We couldn't. We couldn't get on stage and just roast with y'all. Y'all wouldn't even give us, you know. Well, certain niggas. Now mm-hmm. these. Now you go to the spot. These niggas. You like, don't want to roast with them. Cause yeah. they just not entertaining. I don't even know. I can't say that because I don't know who the fuck out here. Yeah, you don't even speak to him. Man. I don't. Mario a good nigga. You don't speak to him. No, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't just, trying to be a good nigga. <laughs> no, that ain't gonna help nobody any <laughs> Shit, I don't. I don't have my time. That shit. That's I, what's wrong with motherfuckers. See, they the, always think somebody being nice to them. To do <laughs> it ain't. <laughs> Nigga just, nigga just be looking like, look, man. man you I, I got other shit to do. Then you get on the nigga today, though. You gotta tell you them jokes by your goddamn self. Yeah, I got other shit to do. Then you get on the nigga today. He thought you weren't being nice. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I, I do that shit every day. Sometimes. What What was he doing? Um, I don't know. That nigga. Oh, <laughs> let me ask. Let me, hold on. You talking about? Let me ask the people, <laughs> ladies. What do you think about niggas who sit like this? <laughs> <laughs> You see how I'm and sitting? Me swinging the Mario! This is, this hey, is man's, hey, this is man's. No, that you nigga, came late, Mario. You came late, Chad over there sitting like this, just swinging his foot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know about- Craig the Joe, no stories about that? A lot of business men sitting like that. Of, that's why I said that's the rich. That's, that's the rich stand, yeah, bro. Yeah, you right. know, you heard the first thing I said, I said, nigga with money, they be sitting like this. Well, get the I'm money first, right. get the money! <laughs> get the money first! Don't be just doing that shit. <laughs> This is how successful niggas sit. He said, if I want to dangle my foot, nigga, I'm going to dangle my foot. And he kept shit. kicking his foot, he though. Said, nigga, I slaps, but he was nigga. fucked up because he had his thigh turned. I was like, nigga, yeah. your fucking thigh is out. That's fucked up, bro. Don't sit like that. You sitting like an auntie watching murder mystery. <laughs> Don't do that. Watching what, Lowe? Murder, murder mysteries, <laughs> nigga. They're real though. Them cold case files and shit. Them goddamn. Them un, uh, not my dog. Investigating That's my discovery. dog, bro. I'm not. You think I'm not going to say something? You're supposed to. Hey, dog. Tighten up, bro. I don't know why that was you brought that shit up. Something. I shouldn't have brought this you shit. You should have. Because it got to be addressed. Because there's women out there who watch this show like, that's right. Fuck these bitch ass niggas. Crossing their legs. Crossing their legs. How, how you had it? How you had it? Nigga, hold that. Hold that. <laughs> Lean it now. Say it was like. Lean it. Lean it. No, bro, don't explain that shit. Hey, don't listen, explain it. No more. But he ain't sitting like that no I'm, more. I'm glad he listen. And one thing about it, as as grown black men these days, we have to accept when our brother check us. Bro. He just checked you. That's all the way. Mario, this is the crazy part. Lo said, if I catch you sitting like that again next time, I'm gonna pop you. I'm gonna pop your motherfucker. <laughs> you gotta pop him like a nephew. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Fix your goddamn leg. Motherfucker. You, and then you hit him with the back like that. Get your goddamn leg. See? Like, I'm gonna catch your ass sitting like that again. Right. Oh, hit him on the hit him with, hit him with something. You got you got pickups. <coughs> hit your motherfucker. Boop. And that is, that is totally fine. Yeah. That is, if I your daddy will see you sitting like that. That's oh the my same God. shit I'm telling them. What's his daddy gonna say? Man, my goddamn son. What your there. mama gonna and say? And they gonna be mad at you. What, what was Lowe's when you were sitting like that? Sitting like that. Did Lowe's ain't say shit. Did you see the picture? Why you got your cousin with? <laughs> Why you ain't say nothing? You you round him for nothing. You condone the shit. He is thigh high and shit. Thigh high. That's a nigga. Thigh high. Thigh high. He thigh 
eyes and shit on me. He, he trying to explain it to me. Nah, man, I seen Johnny Depp sitting like that. <laughs> <laughs> They was at Brock Nation, no, and it was a, it was the cameraman trying to go to the brunch back. next year. Yeah, man. you got to sit like this. Everybody, at, everyone at the Rock Nation brunch was sitting right. like that. You know I'm going to Derby this year. I got to get my hat. <laughs> Come on, man. No, like because he got on Nike sweats, the Nike sign like this, but it was straight up in the air, like <laughs> how he was sitting, like it was. This the shit that was disturbing me to the foot. The dick, the dick, kicking the feet, bro. <laughs> Hey, Look, he didn't deny he nothing but the dangle. Right, he checked right. you. Stop. He ain't deny nothing but the dangle for you. That's just, you know, just like your brother. Now look, now look. I smoked the weed, but I ain't had nothing to do with the raps. You right. <laughs> I ain't had shit to do with the raps. I got hey. the weed, but I don't know where the raps at. Man, I, he better not swing your feet at the bar. I was just, I was just waiting on him to throw his hand behind his head like the auntie with the short cut and just. Like, <laughs> Tell me a little about this. What the fuck is all this? Fucking more stance behavior. I just knew the pretty girl rock song was playing in his head. <laughs> Not you, Chad. Hey, man, stop bashing. Coming down the lonely road. <laughs> people gonna watch this and take this as bullying. So just, just oh, leave stop. It, yeah, they gonna. But just know that. Uh, it's a lot of people have their thighs out. What were right. you guys insinuating? This podcast with the ain't for that no, type of it ain't behavior. For you to sit like that. This podcast ain't for you to have your thighs. And we got one of the executives sitting like that, but the podcast ain't for that. Nope, for that. Nope. Now I'm getting confused. Now, with. now it's making me making me question a lot of shit. Who who is this nigga been up until this point? <laughs> he done got comfortable. Now he can start being himself. But but Lowe's, another executive told him about how he was sitting. Man. And man. he ignored that executive. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. I think Mo- it's multiple times. Mo- yeah, multiple right. times. We probably should put an email out or something. Because <laughs> I don't want the company to start suffering from internal problems. Yeah. Well, I'm also, also fellas, now that you got this, is, you got this, this shit got to go up to HR. You got to keep this in consideration. HR, no, no, no. Uh, you got to keep this consideration. Because at the beginning, when, uh, when we first hired him, this was not in the handbook. We have to put this in now. No, I actually spoke with he another. He grandfathered I have to, have to consulting with another one of my partners uh-huh. in the firm. It has been confirmed. That, I mean, Joe feels the same way. And he, he's mentioned it. He's mentioned uh-huh. it. So, so not only. So is this has happened on another occasion. This has happened on several occasions. Is this your Inside first time the workplace catching him? And outside the workplace. Is this your first time? So this is him? this is just a behavioral thing now. And He's bringing none of you so guys. It's redundant now. Yes, it's redundant. It's blatant. And none of you guys decided to bring this up until now. No, he brought it. Up. He he forced the issue because he's, now he's. Just, you had enough. I've had enough. <laughs> I've had enough. And now this is seriously than I thought. He's being belligerent, <laughs> and he's not respecting the work environment. It's it's selfish. So should we talk to him? I mean, we, it's, it's nothing else to talk about. There's nothing else to talk nothing, about. So terminated, it, 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 terminated immediately. No, it, 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 reprimanded, man. It yeah. needs to be. It needs to be on his file that this is a yeah. continuous problem. Yeah, I, I think at least put it on. And his I file. feel, I feel personally, mild suspension. That I feel that it's affecting the income into the business. Mm. Wow. Yeah, because what about the perception? Is the thigh distracting? This, is the thigh distracting this, this could do a lot. Mm. The thigh is distracting. To ruin, me, me personally, It yes. could ruin our reputation. It could kill us in the streets. He has a point. What about our urban campaign? Our show is 56% male dominated. You have a point. We are, we are one of the top performers in our market. That's because we haven't shown any flaws in the product. I, I'm going to have to do this. I, I didn't want to say it, but I wanted to file sexual harassment. I do not feel like I want to do this, but I'm going to have to do this. I, because I do not want my name on that paperwork, man. This is a fucking avalanche waiting to happen. The snowball effect. The only thing that I am proud, it was no 85 South gear on him when he was sitting like that. Can you imagine? Can oh you fucking God. imagine? Imagine how he would have had his hat. Fire fest all over again. No. He's gonna, he's gonna. So three days, three days suspension. Three days. Uh, we he gotta pay without pay. pay. Uh, without, without pay. pay. Without pay. Three and days. he may have to forfeit some of his bonus. It's only fair. If it was me with the drinking again, that's what it would be. <laughs> and and we gonna, he's gonna have to take some uh, open sitting classes. He, <laughs> yes. He's gonna take some open yes. sitting classes. Exactly. Mandatory open sitting Anger classes. management. Anger management. Because he got mad at Los for reprimanding Anger management. Mandatory sitting classes. Yes. 
And he owes this company an apology. And a, 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 a form an apology. Oh, form an apology. And, and without a shadow of doubt, this feet dangle shit? It's D, going D, in the employee handbook. Oh. D-dangling. D-dangling. Oh, oh my God. It's outlawed. I don't ever want to see it in this place again. Well, he's going to have to. Let's bring him in. Now, that, now that's one occasion. Let's have another. Something else you want to Something. What did you what did you have to steal from a, an employee? <laughs> Look, this I'm not here. <laughs> I'm not here to be a complainer. I'm here to make this shit as great as it can be. And if and if you know if these are the things that I just go asked on you a here, question, Los. What did you find in Houston and you had to confiscate? A motherfucking pink do rag, man. <laughs> a pink do rag. This nigga don't even have waves. Now, that is in the handbook. Didn't you guys just now bringing this up? No, but listen. Listen, man. Pink do-rags are already in, banned. We brought you in as a consultant to try to fix this thing before the wildfire started. Now, this, I feel... This is already burning. I feel that the, the, the social influence is getting to the guys. Because they're, they're just stepping out of character. I mean, first we got leg crossing. Then we got pink fucking do rays. Then you got feet dangling. It's a domino effect. You got feet dangling. Yeah, I, it is. Yeah. Yeah, he he's on two. I points. heard Craig tell a bitch that he was a red bone. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't think I heard it. She was like, he FaceTiming with a bitch, and she like, so grab yourself. Was this on on the clock? It's on the clock. On the clock. He gonna look right at the phone and tell this bitch, I'm a thick red bone. So that's sexual harassment. <laughs> Craig, <laughs> tell me the shit. Sexual harassment. Craig then told the bitch he a thick red bone. <laughs> so, so how you look? Well, a, a nigga kind of thick. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm red, I'm light thick, eyes. I'm a thick red nigga. With some light eyes. <laughs> like, no! We gotta get a new camera, nigga. <laughs> and his brother is the nigga wearing the pink do rag. Who the fuck are these people around me, bro? And, and I always I said, man, J O N a cool nigga on the on the beat. But you didn't know under that. It was the pink do rag. The reason why the beat and was so funky. And you sitting there complimenting the whole time. This shit funky. This shit funky. And this whole time, his man just imagine if I had my shit. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 so and, hold these and waves Mario, down. You don't even hear the worst part. He asked Los, I was looking for my shit the whole time. You, you stole it shit? and held it. I saw something you ain't see. What? You ain't see when he walked off with his brother and they was there. And they got my shit, won't give it back. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I ain't need my shit. How the fuck he get a hold to it? Why he just not saying it you went through my bag, bro? And he wanted to put a police report out. Right. Los took his I heard right? Craig say, bro, if you want to do something, I, you know I got you. And you know who, who both of them went to. Come on, man. The feet dangler. So, you mean, <laughs> so now it's three against one. So you mean to tell me it's been some fubulous mishaps going on. It's been some fubulous mishaps going on. Right. And it's been all kind of law breaking. Right. And you guys are just not bringing this to the So well, I didn't know about the thick red bone. Yeah. I didn't. I, you really I, gotta. You really gotta watch who you're around these days. I didn't know about that shit. Yeah, he said that. I heard. I'm about that. to talk with these guys tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, he said that. Shit. I'm gonna pull them to the side on their lunch. They're not know. even gonna. I don't eat. Know. They're not even gonna eat tomorrow. I don't know what that shit was about, but you know. they're not even gonna eat tomorrow. You know, these are the things that happen. We gotta get the fuck Let's out of here. Yeah, I'm about, I was just about to say, I'm out of here. It is two thirty. Is it? I just saw what God he's damn, doing. I don't even like y'all. Time that flies much. when you're having fun, oh, guys. Man, you don't have to, but I will. No, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it with you. Let's do it. Hey, man, y'all silly as fuck. You gonna wrap up? Let's wrap it. I'm yeah. Wrap it. Okay. Well, there you have it, folks. Bro, that camera crooked. I don't know if that shit recorded anything. Chad, that bitch is really Chad not focused feet on dangled it uh, to the other Chad angle. slapped. He slapped that bitch. <laughs> Look, like this. <laughs> he kicked it with his foot. He was nudging it. You should, you should, have, you should have it go out like this. Intro. Dang it. Feet dangled. <laughs> Left to the right. right. Left to right. And that one. Don't say that and, shit. And 17. Don't do my 18. partner like that, man. It's my motherfucking dog. You just glad you checked him. Don't you do that no more. 
This is the 85 South Show. It was, and it still is, another rendition of your favorite podcast, man. Mm. I hope you enjoyed this show as much as we enjoyed creating it for you. Always remember to stay focused. You can be great because you already are. Somebody believes in you, but if you don't do it first, it'll never happen. Mm. Hell yeah. How about that? Mm -hmm. You are responsible for you. Take care of yourself first. Yeah, man. Everything else will follow. Start respecting yourself more, man. And believe, goddamn it. You can't yeah. have faith and be scared. Yeah. You gotta believe in that shit. Keep moving. Find a new way to take a shower, man. You've been missing some spots. You stink. I don't know who needed to hear that. One minute at a time, man. Yeah, but behind your ear smells fucking disgusting. Oh. Your belly button's dirty. Mm. That ain't a birthmark. That's dirt, my nigga. Now. You weren't born with that shit. Yeah. Nah. You ain't get it out the mud. You been you look you like just mud. You a nasty you motherfucker. Nasty. A birthmark is something you was born with. Nigga. Yeah. That came over time. Yeah. Three weeks ago. Uh huh. Uh huh. Good shit. Uh huh. Okay. Man, I've been Mario Tori, 85 South Show. This is the coldest podcast. One of the podcasts that put the real niggas on the map. My this podcast, podcast is for real niggas who didn't ever suck the ash off a nipple before. Mm. Mm. You pull the titty out of out your mouth, it's just be your lip print. Now you gotta suck both of them. She been match. working all day. Right. Wintertime titty. Mm. Fresh off of work titties. Mm-hmm. Mm yeah. Delicious. Anytime titties. Much love to all the niggas who be trying to wear their girl like a Super Bowl ring. Mm. You ain't gonna catch that one. Shouts out to all the women who go to work and come home and they still smell good. You know who ain't had a shout out in a minute? Women who will lick your balls right off work. Real ballers. I had a woman tell me she preferred salty nuts. Oh man. One time. It's all kind of freaks out here now. Hey, shouts out to all the freaks who disguise it real well. Yeah. They work for the city or the yeah. church. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to give a special <laughs> shout out to all the women out there who getting hit through the boxer hole. <laughs> now you look back when you get hit through a boxer hole. Hell yeah. We you, hitting you, said, you said a little bit of sleep, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> we hitting it through the front of that boxer hole. Right. You sure a little man sleep? I heard somebody. <laughs> hey! <laughs> like yeah, back down now. You know what they reminded me of? <laughs> this podcast is for everybody who bedroom door won't close all the way. <laughs> you just Mama, keep popping up. You gotta move some shit in front of it. Yeah, some shoes. <laughs> Mama, who in there with you? Go, go to bed. Go take your ass to sleep. You got school in the morning. That's who in here. <laughs> Asking me who in my shit. <laughs> your dad ain't. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Shout oh, out man. to everybody who about to get put out. You don't even know it. You think you shit is all it. good. Thought mm. shit was sweet. Now you ain't got nowhere to motherfucking eat. Yeah. Hey man, y'all make sure y'all keep watching, subscribing, leaving comments. Talk your shit. If you one of those people who ain't left no comment, talk your shit. Talk it. Yeah, if you love this show, say it, post it. Put your people on to it. Much love to the 85%ers, man. It's the fans that's keeping us going. We got a lot of love in these streets. 85% of the We real. selling out everywhere we going, man. That's dope. I want everybody to continue to support everything you got going on. Yeah. Follow Mario Torre. Follow Mario Nam Green. Torre, you Nam already Green. know what it is. Man, Anybody you support see on 85 the... South Show. Exactly. Right here, man, in GA Atlanta. Born and raised and shit was dope, man. Come on, man. Enjoy Everybody that. you see over here is official. Official. That's how we getting down for the 2019. 2019. For the 2020. For the 2020 twin. Okay. And uh yeah. Yeah. We'll see you next time. <laughs> bon voyage, bitches. Happy Black History Month, you horse. <laughs> Happy Black History. <laughs>